Indiana basketball right now, right now, uh, has guys that are more interested in cool than good. And the fan base is the same. Let's be honest. Indiana had a real opportunity yesterday to do something, something special. Now, let's go back to the watch shot. Something special. Let's go back to A.J. Moye blocking Boozer's shot. Something special. See, I have a higher regard for Indiana basketball than any of you. You all like, he's vibing on TikTok. Okay. Oh, it's great. He's vibing. How about sleeping? How about taking a nap on TikTok? How about you do that? How about instead of we're vibing, how about we're napping? That might have served them better. Now, here's what Woody will get done. I promise you Woody will get this done. The next step for Indiana basketball is expectation. And I don't care about fanboys. I don't care about, you know, media. Who cares about that? Media is always going to do what media does. Indiana gets the greatest players. Indiana's the greatest because they want you all to pay attention to them and because they don't know. But the next thing is this. The next thing is expectation of the participants within the program. That's the next thing. Because right now, and again, I did not say this, but I could not have bet more money after I saw the TikTok video with Trey Galloway and the TikTok guy Coop vibing in. I saw their eyes. I saw their face. I'm like, they're going to get their ass kicked. And I'm not sure they'd have won whether they TikToked or not. It doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't, you know, and I know I'm just the old man, but I like to see Indiana win, and I have a lot of pride in the program. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, look, uh, did they lose because of a TikTok video? No, of course not. Of course not. But were they ready to play? A little bit. Could they sustain? No. No. And what he screwed it up to, and whoever was in, Tim Garl's the best at logistics, uh, and I'll defer to him. That's fine. But the truth of the matter is, You did not need to go the night before. I don't care what the NCAA said. You needed to sleep, get up, and go. Even though guys wouldn't sleep probably after a game like that, they're probably making TikTok videos. But it is a successful year because this is how far we have fallen, and it is a successful year, as I told Woody, because the truth of the matter is I didn't tell Woody about after the game. I've told him before because the only thing that truly matters, I guess, is getting to the NCAA tournament, and they won a game, so there you go. But then it happened last night, ladies and gentlemen. Then it happened. The Big Blue Nation came in to Indianapolis playing against vaunted St. Peter's, ladies and gentlemen. Vaunted St. Peter's. Peter is the guy, I believe, that denied Jesus three times. Peter denied Kentucky one time. Do you see what I did there? Do you see how I did that on a Friday in Lent? Um, the, <laughs> the, the idea that Kentucky... Um, Let's just think about this. Could lose to St. Peter's. It's really unfathomable. Uh, Somebody put this out yesterday, and I don't disagree with it. I would bet that Kentucky's players have made more money off the NIL than St. Peter's has in their budget. Was that the first NIL loss? A team that, with big money, if UCLA would have lost... I saw somebody say, hey, maybe you ought to give back all of your Porsches. And that is what UCLA players got going. They got CAA doing it. They got, they got stuff, but they survived. Kentucky didn't survive. So my question is, as all you Kentucky fans are driving out of Indianapolis, please feel free to call in and whine like you always do at 317-239-1070. I'd like to hear from you. Hey, Dawkins, Indiana ain't relevant. Maybe not, but they didn't lose to St. Peter's, brah. I mean, I mean that. Hey, I mean, hey, I know. Uh, when the hell last time Indiana been relevant? I don't know. They didn't lose to St. Peter's, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, hey, big BN, big big bowel movement. If uh, if you're running out of town and you want to call in, let's go. 
I want to hear the whining. Indiana fans, you're just happy because Trey Galloway's cute. Neil with TikTok video. He's vibing. We're vibing. Did you see him vibing? Shut up. <laughs> hey, uh, Reggie Jones uh, in the house. We're down here at the Saint Shack. Greatest hot dogs you will ever eat. Full bar. They got everything you want. Dudes are in here. Games are on. We got some swag. It is literally right down the street. Just a little bit, a little bit north of Mer- on Meridian of the Slippery Noodle. Just literally, if you're coming from downtown, down Meridian, it'll be before the bridge. If you're coming from south, it'll be just after the bridge over here on the west side of Meridian. If they want to get the sad out, Kentucky, if you want to get the sad out, call it in. And Indiana fans, if you'd like to get the sad out, 317 239 Ten seven zero. That is the number. Dan at ten seventy. The fan. Here's what happens. All right, Kentucky fans do this. Kentucky fans will say, "Uh, yeah, we lost, but we're not Indiana." No, nah, we didn't lose to St. Peter's, man. I'm just saying, you do whatever you want. We didn't lose to St. Peter's. Um, you know, that's all I got to tell you. You know, you lost to St. Peter's. St. Peter's. Isn't that... No, I don't think it is. All right. What league is St. Peter's in? You guys know? I know they're from New Jersey. The other Mac? I don't think... I'm going to look that... Does anybody know where St. Peter's is? Uh, It'd be great to to know... Can somebody look that up? I meant to do that this morning. You want to know what conference, or do you want to know where yeah, they're from? Yeah, what league? They're, they're yeah, in the what Metro league? Atlantic. I know they're from Jersey. They're, they're in the what Metro league? Atlantic. What they're in Iona's league? conference. What league? They're in the Metro Atlantic. <laughs> Dang, conference. said it 15 times. Huh? Metro Atlantic. There you go. Uh, Metro Atlantic. Jimmy, close your eyes. Don't look this up. Tell me three teams in the Metro Atlantic. St. I- Peter's. Iona. Really? Whoa, 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 hold on. Hang on, caller. Sienna. So this is the group. Wait, hold on. This is the group that beat Patino? Because Patino's at Iona, right? I can't remember if they played each other, but, I mean, they, they won that conference, so yes. Wow. Why didn't we bet on them, Jimmy? And by the way, Jimmy, let me explain something to you. You finally got one bet over me. <laughs> and I'm looking at Twitter last night. <laughs> I tried to tell Dan. To- <laughs> I know. I know. I saw it. I'm like, okay, pal. <laughs> Plus five catamounts, baby. <laughs> I didn't bet that one. I didn't bet that game. Uh, I don't I blame did. you. I, didn't like it. I don't like anything today. Uh, do you like anything today? I had success betting high seeds yesterday in the ones <sighs> column, not Kentucky, in the ones column. Did you? I might take Auburn and lay the 14 and a half against Jacksonville State today. I have had success not betting big spreads, Jimmy. I've had success, and, and the spreads today are big. I will tell you this. I did take, uh, I took Ohio State when I saw that, first off, there's a table full of Ohio State guys in here, and I didn't want to get my ass kicked. And then second off, uh, I saw that Kyle Young was playing and Zeb Key was playing, so I went and took them. But, Jimmy, I don't like any of the lines today. I don't. Do you? Do you like what? what it, there's, that's a tough day today. I'm going to lay the point and a half on USC. You are, you're taking USC. I'm going to take USC. I'm going to take Virginia Tech. In a, I think that's a pick em right now. And then I will probably lay the 15 on Villanova. Really? All right. Here's my day today. There's a lot of pressure on me, Jimmy. I wake up and the vice president of ESPN is sending me texts. What do you got today? Because we're 8 0. My nephew, Petey, is calling me. Hey, Uncle D, what do you got? My brother's calling me. Three former players are calling me. Jimmy, it's too much pressure. Heavy is the much. head that the wears only... the crown, Dan. Heavy is the head. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, Colts, we must talk about them. I'm going to get back to Indiana. I, I hated to see Indiana quit last night. I did. They just got broke. They just got broke. They got broke. 
Because that's what happened. They got broke. There comes a time when you're playing where you're tired and all that kind of stuff. And are you going to get broke or are you going to hang in? And they got broke. And I thought Trace Jackson Davis did not help himself last night. I'm sitting in a throne, Jimmy. My microphone is not working. See that? Uh, Trace Jackson Davis, I don't think he helped himself. I don't. You know, you got to play through stuff. You can't be a front runner when you're a marginal draft choice in the NBA. You can't. I'm sorry. You just can't. I thought he was great. I thought he was terrific all year, but I thought he gave in last night, and you can't do that. You, you really can't. And you know what? Going forward, if he decides to stay, and I don't know, you know, a lot of people say, well, he needs one more year. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Whatever that means, fine. You know, you guys tell me whatever it means, it means. But I don't know what one more year means. But I do know this. If you're going to go to the NBA, you better be able to shoot a three. And he needs to be able to do that. He does. But the truth of the matter is, I thought the kid was great. Uh, but I did think he gave in last night. And that is not good. You can never give in. And again, this is my problem with Indiana. I have too high of expectations. And I get it. We got TikTok guys, and I get it. We got all that kind of stuff. But the truth of the matter is, to me, to me, you had a chance yesterday to do something special. You had a chance yesterday to overcome something. You had a chance yesterday to do something that maybe, you know, lasts a lifetime. And you got blown out. We got swag. We got T-shirts. You name it, we got it, baby. Right here at the St. Shack, we got great hot dogs. You know it. We know it. Get down here and enjoy it. Uh, Dan, is Cal on the hot seat at Kentucky? No, he signed a lifetime deal. The bigger question is, is Kentucky still a relevant national program? I mean, I don't know. Are they still a relevant national program? Do you look at Kentucky and say, well, national champ? I thought Kentucky looked incredibly average the other day. I thought when I saw them play against Tennessee, they were just okay. Indiana is not a nationally relevant program yet. Not yet. They will be. They're working towards it. You get some real guys in there that don't, you know, celebrate at the fountain because you beat Purdue, or you get some guys in there that have expectations out of beating Wyoming in the tournament, and frankly, you got a chance. Hey, Dan, I don't know which bar you're at today, but a great promotion would have been to have the waitresses dress up as IU cheerleaders and put them on each other's shoulders and reach to the top shelf liquor with a basketball lodge. That was pretty good. That was the best thing that happened in Indiana yesterday. You kidding me? Those guys were great. Those guys were awesome. But at the end of the day, man, uh, you got to win games. You got to win games. Um, here's the deal. All right, I just saw this text. Let's talk about the Colts and the quarterback situation. This is from Jason underscore OTC. Teams that can take on Matt Ryan's $23.75 million salary without having to fudge more cap numbers are the Colts, the Panthers, and the Seahawks. The Browns and the Saints could get through with restructure. Jimmy, it is Friday. I must ask you. Matt Ryan, quarterback of the Colts, where are you with it? Good, bad, happy, or sad? Good. Can't say happy. <laughs> Can't say happy. I won't say sad or bad because I'm an optimist, but I, I would say good. All right. Good. Good is it. That's all we got. We got good. Fair. I'm if you, you gave me fair, that would be the word I would use. Fair to Midland? Fair to Midland. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Oh, man. I, yeah, I mean, what, is there a big difference between um, Matt Ryan and Phillip Rivers? I feel like Rivers is older, meaning body-wise. I feel like Rivers is one of those guys that, you know what, he, he's, he's, he, he's skinnier. I don't know. And did you know this, Jimmy? That puts Ballard at $200 million in quarterbacks. But, Jimmy, it is not about one guy. It's not about one guy. It's what I keep hearing. It'll never be about one guy. Jimmy, $200 million. $200 million. Now, there used to be franchises that cost $200 million. That day has passed, but that's what we're looking at spending. And then, oh, by the way, in two years, you're going to have to find another one. 
How about that? Kentucky fans, as you're driving out of town, 317-239-1070, get out the sad. Right now, I can see that Loyola of Chicago is going to play defense, and they're going to let Kyle Young take some shots, and he's 0 for 2, and if you took the over, go bet the under. About as simple as I can make it, because it looks to me like uh, Illinois, Loyola, Illinois, is going to guard hard. All right, so Matt Ryan is going to be 37 this fall when he's under center. 37. It's not about one guy, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about one guy. Did you see this last night? This was pretty funny. Um, and I'm going to defend Zach Kiefer here. I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend the fanboy media of Indianapolis. Yesterday... Uh, we saw where Rock Yassin said, hey, uh, we took our foot off the gas. We took our foot off the gas, and we did not play well. Well, Zachy went with what little writer guys do. He went with the eyes on Twitter. He went with the eyes. Oh, look at Well, apparently, Darius Leonard did not like the eyes. He took exception to the eyes. Darius Leonard took exception, and he said, quoting to Zaki, y'all are great at trying to make a story out of nothing. That statement has been said so many times, but now that Rock said it, y'all want to make it a big deal. Stop trying to paint a picture. First off, you got to understand, and this goes to you, Darius Leonard, Zach Kiefer only writes what the Colts tell him to write. He is the biggest fanboy, and if you... Darius Leonard have a problem with Zach Kiefer in the media, then you better never, ever leave Indianapolis and go where media actually uh, aren't in pocket, Darius. Darius, if you're that soft that Zach Kiefer, who only says good things about your team, only says good team, good things. That's it. Never. If that bothers Darius so much, then you got to stay here for your career. You can never leave because you're too. You're not tough enough. You're soft. Honest to God, and you can't handle it. So at the end of the day, um, all right, Darius. I'm sure the Kiefer family had a bad night, right? Darius doesn't love me. Darius came at me. Oh, my God, I don't know what to do. All you need to know, Darius, is that um, Kiefer has long conversations with the general manager and exclusives with Ursay. So he is completely in pocket, Darius. So don't eat, don't. If you can't handle that, Darius, then you got a serious problem, my man. Don't go to Philly. Don't go anywhere where the media is actually media. Don't do it. Don't. Stay here where it's so comfortable. I saw that and I just started laughing like, man, what a bad night for Kiefer's because, you know, I mean, these are his heroes. And what a dumb statement by Leonard because nobody's more in pocket. Five to three, Loyola knocking one in. Loyola looks like they're pretty good. In fact, I would argue that I might have to live bet this. Uh, some guy says he's going to get popped at noon and go fight me. DJ something something. Okay, I'm right here. Uh, this is easy. I'm right here. Reggie, let's go. DJ Diddy. Twill tweets. All right. DJ spinning wax. I'm just sitting right here in my throne, ladies and gentlemen, here. And I don't want to get my ass kicked, but I think I can take that guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm 60 years old. I don't know what I'm doing, but DJ Digital Daddy wants to throw hands. I'm just sitting in my throne. Here's what we're going to do. If anybody comes in here to throw hands, I'm going to position some of you guys like I did one day when a crazy dad came to see me about his son. I said, hey, Jamal Meeks, you're right here, baby. That guy comes across the table. You got to tackle him. Always prepare. <laughs> 317-239-1070. It's hammer time coming up. What a great, great day today. Uh, the sun is not out, but it is warm. Basketball is on our television. Kentucky is out of our state. How good is this day? Call in, Kentucky fans. I want to hear you whining. Is Kentucky, I know Indiana's not, 
I know, I know anytime you say something about Biden, somebody goes back to Trump. I get that. Anytime you say something about Kentucky, they go back to Indiana. I get it, but this isn't about Indiana. We know where Indiana is. We know we are the TikTok king of college basketball. We know that our coaching staff is on the right path, meaning they are going to get Indiana right where expectations among the players are higher than just doing a little TikTok video. All right, after a win against Wyoming. We know Indiana had a chance to do something special last night and quit. That's all right. It's the first year for Woody. Got in a tournament, let's go. We know where we're headed, Kentucky. Where are you headed? You lost to St. Peter's, bro. <laughs> oh, man. 317-239-1070. It's Hammer Time next. Who is running your business anyway? Let Teltech's local professionals help you with your business internet, VoIP, and remote work needs. For a free review, visit ttibiz.com. You know you work well together as a team. Now take your team to Royal Penn and make your next corporate event fun and affordable. Royal Penn Leisure Centers offer the perfect combination of food and fun for your next group event. At Royal Penn, you don't have to be a super athlete to have a blast. Everyone's on the team when you're bowling. Bowling is a fun, affordable way to socialize and compete with your colleagues. Create team spirit without meetings, reports, or deadlines. Just good times. And keep in mind, it's always cool in our non-smoking facilities. To get the ball rolling, call Royal Penn today at 465-8484 and we'll organize your next corporate event. Get ready to trade in your wingtips and heels for a pair of bowling shoes and have fun bowling. Set them up, knock them down, send them flying, spinning round. For more information, call 465-8484 or look us up at royalpin.com. Royal Pin. Royal Pin. Every dribble, every pass, and every bucket, all in the palm of your hand. Because now you can sign up and bet. No strings attached with Bet River Sportsbook app featuring award winning customer service. Live in game bets, player props, and instant betting. B -b -b bucket to bucket. Don't miss out on all the big games. Get in the action with Bet River Sportsbook app. Must be 21. Must be located in Indiana. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 9 with it. 1 800 994 8448. Spring in Indy. And since 2001, Rhino Shield has been covering Indiana homes and businesses. Just ask Mike. I was watching TV one night and saw the Rhino Shield ad, and I thought, well, if they can do a house, they can probably do a building. And Rhino Shield's not paint, it's better. So they came out and uh, they gave me a price, showed me how the Rhino works, how it lasts, and how the guarantee works. Business owners, you too can get the 25 year protection of Rhino Shield right now for 15% off the regular price. They started on the building. They waited for us to leave, and they worked Saturday and Sunday, so they wouldn't affect our business at all. This was the great part of it. I came back Sunday night, and you couldn't even tell they were here. There was no paint on the ground. They did a they did a fantastic job. Here's owner Shane Smith. This offer is limited, so call me at 888-RHINO-41. That's 888-RHINO-41. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go, go Rhino. Hey, don't vinyl. Go Rhino. Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Hey, it's JMV for the absolute best in realty. Mark Deedle at 317-755-4232. That's 317-755-4232. Online, markdeedle.com, Mark, D-I-E-T-E-L.com today. The absolute best and the only person I would trust if I were putting my house on the market and the only agent I recommend, Mark Deedle will guarantee multiple offers in three days for full market value or he's going to list it for free. For Robert and Teresa from New Whiteland, it was time for them to sell and cash in on their equity. We knew Mark Deedle was the best, so we hired him, and we were not disappointed. Mark got us multiple offers in days and closed in less than two weeks above the price we expected. That's Mark Deedle. Mark Deedle Realty, 317-755-4232. That number, 317-755-4232. Tell him I sent you online, markdeedle.com. That's Mark, D-I-E-T-E-L.com today. Hey, Andy. Tim Pearson here, founder of Chattanooga Whiskey. Imagine if your team scored 111 points every time they played. Sounds like a fun team to watch and a lot more W's. It also sounds like sipping on Chattanooga Whiskey 111 cask, an unrivaled, unfiltered barrel forward bourbon that scores 111 points with every sip. 
Our bold and chocolatey expression of Tennessee high malt is a winner, and we can't wait for you to enjoy it as much as we do. Drink Chattanooga whiskey. Enjoy responsibly. New message. What up, what up? It's Heather's cousin. You dated her in college, or maybe you were just in the same class. Anyway, I heard you bought a boat, my man. Let's hit the water. Oh, and Heather told me you always liked uh, snacks and stuff, so I could totally bring some chips. When you get a boat, you also get new friends. Make sure Progressive's one of them, and get coverage today for as little as $100 a year. Hey, also, I'm a little short on cash, so can you cover the chips? Thanks. I can see why Heather liked you. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates annual premium for basic liability policy not available in all states. Hey, Ray Magliozzi here. I'd like to carry more parts at my shop, but I just don't have the room. Every time I go in the back to get wiper blades, I trip over a dusty crate of Honda air filters, then bang my head on some GTO radiator hoses. eBay Motors never has that problem. They stock all the right parts at the right prices. 122 million of them, with everything from new headlights to vintage gear shifters. I can't imagine being able to stock 122 million parts. I mean, where would I get all those shelves? eBay Motors, let's ride. Presented by Caesar Sportsbook, the app for the people. Get started with up to $1,100 in first bet insurance. Download the app, place a bet, and if you win, congrats. But if you don't, you'll get it back as a free bet. Terms and conditions apply, must be 21 or over. If you're going through a divorce and need to refinance your current home or buy a new one, give us a call or apply online today. The Home Loan Expert. NMLS number 132641. If you love listening to our shows, then you've got to follow us on our social media. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Search 1075 The Fan and share your opinions with us on our posts. The Ride with JMV. Gus Bradley, who is the new defensive coordinator of the Colts. I think as a defensive coordinator, you're always looking at that fourth quarter rush and how important it is. It wins games for you. It starts up front with our defensive line, and then we build around that. And those covered corners, especially in our style of play, I mean, we're going to be aggressive on the perimeter. You see a lot of press coverage. You know, we've got to win you know, at the line of scrimmage. The Ride with JMV. Weekdays, 3 to 6. On 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. It's the Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5, The Fan. Ladies and gentlemen, he comes on my Outkick show, and I think we just win everything. I think he's like 17 and 2. <laughs> or 7 and 2. One of the two. One of the two. 17, 7. It's the same. Come on. I'll take 17 and 2. Hell yeah, we'll take I it. I know. Is your bracket busted? No, man. My toes are still tapping. I've got all of my final four squads still in the mix. Had to sweat it out a little bit with UCLA last night, but uh, Kansas, Tennessee, Gonzaga, and UCLA all surviving and advancing. How about Iowa? I mean, Iowa going Iowa. I, 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 first time ever I actually bought into Iowa. First time ever. And I got what I deserved. Iowa going to Iowa, baby. And that's what I'm scared about with this Purdue game today because every mm. bit of my being tells me that Purdue is going to beat the living hell out of Yale. I think Yale's biggest starter is like 6'7". Of course, you see what Purdue brings in there. But that line is pretty big, like the point spread, 16 and a half to 17 in some spots. And when you look at what Purdue has done against the spread in the last 10 games, I believe they're 0 and 10, maybe 1 and 9, something like that, against the spread. It's not good. And Jimmy, you can appreciate this. I've compared Purdue basketball to the Kansas City Chiefs of sports betting. Ooh. They're going to win, Ooh. but they're not going to cover. And that's why I'm a little skittish about being fooled again. You know what I'm saying? I completely Jimmy, know what you're saying. Hurt? How, no, that doesn't hurt because he's right. That? Like, you okay? look at the numbers last year, like particularly last season, the Chiefs were not a covering machine. They were eventually going to get it done. Your best bet was via the live bet if the odds ever got that great. And if they didn't, you just had to stay away because they were going to make you lose money. Sooner or later, you have to stop stop touching the fire because you don't want to get burned anymore. And that's kind of where I'm at with Purdue. I always pick them. I'm just as guilty as anybody. I'll pick Purdue to cover, and then they'll win, but it won't be by enough. I I Look, I think these big lines, I, I don't like them. I, I don't. That's why we've won so many here um, over the last two days. Because they, the lines were small. These were small lines, right? I mean, uh, 
Yeah. So I I am not in love. I did take Ohio State when their, their three players came back, but this is going to be a sweated out kind of a game. What did you think of IU last night? Well, I believe it was Cousin Eddie who once said in the film Vegas Vacation, <laughs> I haven't seen a beating like that since somebody put a banana in my pants and turned a monkey loose. About the final <laughs> three minutes of that half, when – Coach Woodson decided to take the starters all out. It Mm. was downhill from there. Now, I don't know if that was the reason they lost. I'll let you break that down, Coach, more than anybody else can. But between that, the travel, and let's be honest, St. Mary's was damn good in that second half. I don't know if they were 30 points better, but yeah, St. Mary's is a damn good team. I thought St. Mary's smelled blood went for the jugular early and Indiana quit. That's what I I mean, I, you know, quit's a tough word but I didn't see any comeback. Let's put it that way. So what I has to happen for again. Indiana to not have this happen again, right? Because Woodson inherited the majority of this roster. He's asked after the game what do you have to do to get better and his main answer is shooting. Like he addresses the elephant in the room and says shooting. Is it just a matter of shooting for IU, coach? I'll give you something that happened. Dave Portnoy was interviewing Miller Cup, and Miller Cup was supposed to be watching film, and he got off the interview when a coach walked in. Now, I'm just telling you, you don't win with those guys. You don't. You don't win with guys that are TikTok heroes. You don't win with uh, guys that have Northwestern approaches. So the first thing you've got to be able to do is you've got to be able to get a mentality in the organization that demands of itself. I mean, you have to, Jason. You can't have an organization in the Big Ten trying to compete with the the monsters in that league that are coaching in that league, that are recruiting in that league, that are playing in that league, and be, you know, a little TikTok guy with a mentality that, hey, I want to do this interview uh, because I'm sneaking around my coach. I mean, it's a 10-year-old mentality, and... Uh, that's number one. I think that's even above shooting because you, we, I don't know if Cop has time, you know, can come back and play, but they've got enough guys. You know, where's Anthony Lill? He can shoot the ball. Where was Parker Stewart? He can shoot the ball. Cop can shoot the ball. But if you don't have the right mentality, you got no chance. And Indiana fans get mad at me because, well, you're yelling at clouds. Well, I don't like clouds. There you go. How about that? So I'm going to yell at him. Hey, get off my lawn while is, you're at it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want. Hey, when I was a kid, these little gang members uh, from the the street behind used to walk across our lawn to get to the damn bus stop. I didn't like it, but I was too little, or I'd have gotten shot or something. But yeah, get off my lawn yelling at clouds. But how about we have a mentality that isn't childish? That's the first thing you got to do. I really believe that. I do. I, I believe that. How about we win some money so, today, Coach? Can we win some money today? Please, please. And- it's a tough day. I, give me something that I can hang my hat on, big dog. Well, I'm with you on Ohio State. I got Ohio State money line today. Um, got that when the line was basically a pick 'em. So I'm in on yeah. the Buckeyes today. Another sexy upset pick that a lot of people are jumping on is Chattanooga against Illinois. I'm going to lay the eight here and give me the fighting Illini. Um, I think this is going to be maybe one of those first halves that go back and forth. I can see Illinois getting off to a slow start. But I think when this thing is all said and done, a strong Illinois team that could also shoot it a little bit on the outside, I'm going to lay the eight with the fighting Illini here. Um, I'm one of those guys that has said before the draw, Whoever Chattanooga plays, I'm taking Chattanooga. But when I saw they played Illinois, I'm not taking Chattanooga. I might take the over. I might give the eight. I'm sitting out a lot of games, big dog. I'm going to take Iowa State plus three and a half against LSU out of spite. It's my one spite. I want LSU to lose by 126. And I'm going to take Notre Dame. I do because of Will Wade. Come on. We want Will Wade and everybody that went to play for that criminal. We want him out of hoops. We want the whole organization out. I'm going to do a spite bet. I got a spite bet for you. I will raise your Will Wade and give me Villanova over Delaware. You gave me Joe Biden. So give me Villanova minus 15 and a half. I'll lay the 15 and a half. Just out of pure spite, coach. Oh, man. You you gave me Joe Biden is the reason we're betting against Delaware. I love it. No, that's beautiful. Hey, look, that's as good as any. I tell you what, if you bet the over in the Ohio State-Loyola game, 
Yeah, you're screwed. This game, both <laughs> teams are guarding. I mean, you're just, you're completely screwed. Hey, uh, let me go another route. You mentioned first half betting, and I, and people ask me this all the time. I don't know the answer, but do you do you do that very often? I live bet like a maniac, and mm-hmm. I made some good money last night live betting. Not necessarily first half, but I saw when Gonzaga was down, I think, two in their game, the point spread went down to minus 11 for a live bet. So I hammered the hell out of Gonzaga with about a minute to go in the first half when that line went down to 11. And then the second half last night, the UCLA-Akron game, about four minutes to go, Akron is up by around eight, and I got plus money on UCLA on the money line. So I put a little spot on that and won both of those. The money we ended up winning basically on the UCLA money line for live betting was like winning two other bets picking favorites. Yeah. I, you know what? It, it's interesting because that's how I got in trouble last year and ended up door dashing starting on this <laughs> day last year. True story. But no, live betting isn't a bad way. I want to go to another game. I like Miami of Florida tonight uh, taking on USC. Jimmy likes it the other way. My problem is this. My problem is, you know how first impressions can kill you? My first impression of Miami of Florida was watching them beat Duke at Duke. Like, Jim Laranega is a goofy dude, man. He really is. And, and I followed him at Bowling Green, and he's whatever. But I will tell you this. I think this is a veteran guard group. I think this is a team that's seen everything. I love the way they cut without the ball. There are only few teams that cut without the basketball. And, frankly, one of them is Miami. So I'm taking them. And I'm going to take, take Sparty. I'm going to take Michigan State. It's only a one-point game. Um it's only a one point spread. I'm actually going to make that my bet of the day. And if I lose it, I lose it. But I'm going to put a, I'm going to put some DoorDash money on Sparty to win by one. I I like low spreads, uh, Hammer Time. I'm with you. And it seems like with Sparty, if you give me Tom Izzo in the first round, I know he's lost before against a, yes. a team from a smaller conference. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to take Tom Izzo. I'm not mad at all uh, with the Michigan State pick. Now, if I'm looking for points here, I was all ready to go to scoop up Notre Dame getting the four. But, man, after the Indiana blowout last mm. night, I'm starting to second-guess myself here thinking, okay, maybe that game in Dayton, maybe that short travel, maybe that you know double overtime game that the Irish had has something to do with it here. I've almost talked myself out of it, but Alabama is one of those teams where – You've got one bullet in the gun, you spin it, and you're playing Russian roulette. You could beat Gonzaga, you could lose to a bottom feeder. You never know what you're going to get with Alabama, but if that's the case, I kind of want the team that's getting four points. I kind of do too. I do. I, I, I said before, um, at Notre Dame won. Whoever won that game, I felt like was going to beat Alabama, and now when I can take four points on top of it, I'm going to do that. Because let's be honest, uh, I, I I don't. First impressions are tough again in college hoops, and one of the first impressions that you had, if not the first impression you had of Alabama, was beating Gonzaga. That's the impression you had, but that hasn't been who Alabama is. So I'm with you. I'm totally. I'm completely with you. I, I I'll, I'm going to take Notre Dame. I'm also thinking about taking the Fighting Calvin Sampson's against UAB. I'm not a big. I watched UAB. I thought UAB was a nice team. I'm not in love with UAB. Uh, And I do think the fighting Calvin Sampson's are pretty tough. I think they're a tough physical group that makes it difficult to score against. And I could see them being up six and then ending the game up ten. Tell me a good Calvin Sampson story, Coach. Give me a good Calvin Sampson story. I know you have to have one. I got one really good one. J.R. Holmes, I've told this before. J.R. Holmes is the basketball coach, all-time winning high school basketball coach in the state of Indiana. And Scott Turner played with Larry Bird at Indiana State, and his son Spencer was a really good player. So Samson and I go out to the Bloomington Country Club to play golf against J.R. and Scotty Turner, the dad. We lose, and I'm being literal here, seven bucks. Seven dollars. I pay. J.R. is a is a not a hustler. He just he you know he likes to play for money on golf and he's gonna bet you. So he wants to be paid, right? 
JR doesn't get paid by Samson because Samson's a dirtbag, right? He doesn't pay his golf bets. Hey, man, my man JR Holmes, he drove straight to the Indiana basketball office, walked in the door, passed the secretary, and told Samson, you owe me seven bucks. Pay up. How about that? Did he have a golf club in his hand? Is it like the, you know, the mafia <laughs> no, movies? Or No, he didn't do any. There was no kneecapping. And the other time, Samson and I were playing somebody else, and he started cheating. He starts, I called Don Fisher. I go, hey, Fish. This is before I even knew. I go, hey, Fish. I go, what do we think about guys that cheat in golf? He goes, oh, disgusting, the worst, you know, Fish. And I'm like, yeah, Samson cheat. He was he cheated last year. You know, and so those are my Calvin Sampson. You know, they're not what people expect, but they are true. Coach, I find that hard to believe that Kelvin Sampson would cheat in something. <laughs> that we must be talking about different Kelvin Sampsons here because not the one that I know would ever cheat in anything. No. Wait a second. I might be talking about one that spells it with a C. I could, it could be wrong about that. I, I don't know. Um, what do you got on the show today, big boy? Uh, we are talking about um, what's happening at the governor's desk right now. It was a horrific day on the roads in Indiana. Uh, we have to be better. Kids yeah. were being killed this morning. Atrocious. You're going to come by. We're going to have some fun. And uh, we're going to drink some beer. It's what we do. Hey, last thing before I let you go. One of the most ridiculous things that I have seen is cheerleaders in front row media having to mask up in this tournament. Like, right. What are, you doing? what are you doing? Like, what are we doing, Hammer? Listen, you don't have to be a political talk show host or somebody that's really into politics to look at this and go, this is asinine. Right. So the players on the court, they can run, they can sweat, they can dive, they can touch each other. OK, fans are in the stands. They're high fiving, they're hugging, they're doing God knows what. Uh, the announcers on the court, guys like Andy Katz, they've got a microphone. They're talking to cheerleaders without a mask. Cheerleaders have to have a mask. Show me the science that makes that make sense. I am demanding someone to show me the science that will make sense of that. It's unbelievable. No, it's unbelievable. No, it's the science. It's the, you don't understand science. You, look, you all know this. Uh, you're supporting Putin. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and if you make any sort of remark like that, big fat yeah. egg-headed dudes on Twitter are going to try to come at you. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Right on. You're Thanks. All right. That is hammer time. Hammer time, hammer time, hammer time. All right. When we come back... Uh, we've got who we got at one. Uh, we have KB coming up. I gotta get. I gotta get with KB. I gotta see what. I gotta sort out this quarterback situation here with the Colts. And somebody, please, God, anybody. I, I wish we had a real media here in town. I would. And that worries about more than just whether I'm in a pool or not. I. I, I want to know, like, why do you get rid of a quarterback? That went 27 and 7 in terms of touchdowns, interceptions, and not have a plan at quarterback. Please, God, somebody explain that to me. We'll be right back. It's Kevin and Query. Mike Chappell. I don't think that Ursay is demanding that Ballard change his philosophy, but I do think he's urging him to be more active at the top. There's three or four holes at major positions. Quarterback, left tackle, pass rush, receiver. You just can't get all that done with the draft. I think they'll be more aggressive, but I don't think they're going to go Bill Belichick last year and just empty their salary care. Kevin and Query. Weekday mornings at 7. On 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. Hey guys, looking for a reason to spend three days on the couch watching basketball? Schedule your vasectomy at Urology of Indiana for a Thursday or Friday, then sit back, relax, and catch some games over the weekend while you recover. It may be the only time your wife approves of hoarding the couch and the remote control. Vasectomies at Urology of Indiana are simple and typically take only about 15 minutes. Soon after, you'll be out the door and on your way home. During your recovery, you'll take ibuprofen and be back to your normal activities in three days. The docs at Urology of Indiana are board certified and perform vasectomies every day of the week, all year long. They're pros at what they do. And they have multiple vasectomy clinics, so chances are good there's one close to you. If you've been putting off your vasectomy, now is the time. You'll never have a better excuse to watch basketball. Call Urology of Indiana or visit vasectomyindy.com for information and to schedule an appointment. 
That's vasectomyindy.com. Hey, don't rely on just don't rely on just your cell phone to connect to the internet. Enjoy a year of free high speed home internet service when you add one line of unlimited mobile with five K five G for only thirty dollars a month when you qualify for the affordable connectivity program. That's right. Get fast, reliable home internet for free when you add one line of unlimited mobile for five with five G for only thirty dollars a month. Act now to get this incredible deal so you can enjoy more streaming, gaming, chatting, sharing, and anything and everything else that you love all for less. With free high-speed internet at home and unlimited mobile with 5G, you'd never have to settle for just one. Learn more, go to Xfinity.com, call 800-XFINITY or visit Xfinity store near you. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Ends for 2822. Restrictions apply. New Connect internet 50 megabyte per second customers with Xfinity Mobile Unlimited line. Equipment, taxes, and fees. Extra subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Taxes and fee extra. Xfinity internet required. Reduce speeds with after 20 gigabytes of usage. BetMGM, the king of sports books, unleashes the spirit of Las Vegas with BetMGM rewards. Every time you make a wager at BetMGM, you can earn BetMGM rewards points that you can redeem for online bonus credits like free bets and risk-free tokens. Planning a trip to Vegas? You can also convert your BetMGM points into MGM Rewards points that you can use towards dining, shows, and hotel rooms at over 20 MGM Resorts properties located on the Las Vegas Strip and nationwide. BetMGM Rewards is sports betting's premier loyalty program featuring exclusive offers, incredible experiences, and valuable perks when you wager on the BetMGM app. Sign up with BetMGM or log on today to get an even bigger piece of the action with BetMGM Rewards. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. Must be 21 years of age or older to wager. Indiana only. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Who is running your business anyway? You may ask yourself this sometimes as the owner of a business or partner in a practice group. Take your internet and phone service. You've pivoted to do more business virtually. But when dealing with the hiccups that come with that, your managed service provider puts the burden on you, saying, mm, check your gateway and firewall. Frustrated, you say, that's what you need them for. But what you get back is, okay, put in a ticket and I'll get back to you next week. Maybe it's time to get control. This is Troy Brasso, owner of Teltec Business. There's no consultant double talk or call center runaround with Teltec Business. We specialize in premium business internet and voice over IP for central Indiana companies like Skill Incorporation and Tempe CPAs, and often at a price that's much less than what you're paying now. Give us a try. Take control and start saving today. Let local professionals help you with your business, internet, and VoIP needs. Call Teltec Business for a free review today at 317-390-8585. A uh, biggest shot of game just happened with Loyola. 17-11, kid from Loyola after a tough possession, drilled a three at 17-14. Mark my words on that one if Loyola's going to come back. Hey, Dan Dockage here for my friends. It's March Madness, so we're talking about... B window, that's Faber B window, ladies and gentlemen. Purdue pays, plays later. I guarantee you, George Faber, a legend at Purdue, will be watching it. And at the end of the day, he will help your home. He's been doing it since 1983. B has more than white windows. Design your home with the colors you love, like black, red, green, beige, gray, and sandstone exteriors, plus beautiful hardware option. B lets you virtually, ladies and gentlemen, design colors that fit your character of your house. Get up to 50% off and of course manufacturers rebates. No interest, no payments. 24 months. Trust your home to be. Visit bwindow.com today. Go Boilers! Terry Stacy here with your American Standard Race Day Weather. Brought to you by Absolute Comfort, your American Standard Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. IndyCar travels to the always exciting Texas Motor Speedway for their second race, sunny and 77 at the green flag. NASCAR returns east after their western swing racing in Atlanta this Sunday, sunny and a high of 66. This has been your American Standard Race Day weather brought to you by Absolute Comfort, your American Standard Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. The Pacers head to Texas to take on the Houston Rockets tonight at 730. On 93.5 and 107.5 The Fan. It's 
The Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. A lot of opinions on IU. My opinion on the IU game is they gave motivation to the other team. They gave good sportsmanship to an IU player when he fell on the floor after time expired. He ignored him and got up. Then Andy Katz, comments to the opposing coach probably helped. I don't know what. No, they didn't. Uh, anyway, Indiana just got beat. They just got beat. I mean, they got beat bad by a better team. Wabash College Final Four. You can live stream it today. I'm excited about that. Wabash College went uh, and won a national championship. Thank you so much. Uh, my friend Mark Mike Holcomb was on the team, and Mike played at Andrean. Uh, he and Pete Metzlars were all Americans there. It's great. Great. Uh, this is something that happens. Uh, David uh, Schlemmer sent me this. I've talked about this before. When we played and got beat by Missouri, I don't know, 93, 4, whatever it was, 94, 5, uh, when you go into the state, it's really weird. Dan, if anyone was wondering why the stadium was so empty for the IU game, the doors didn't open until 4.10 for a 4.20 start. I was in line early, still didn't get to my seat until the 16-minute mark. My friend didn't get to the seat until the five-minute mark, awful, and then, of course, the game. I'm telling you, this happened a few years ago. Um, We played Missouri, and we played – we ran out there. I wasn't playing. I shouldn't say we. I was coaching. We go out there, and there is nobody in the stands because it was in between letting sessions in. It is – I've always said this. There is nothing, nothing, nothing like even close – to the environment of home games. The NCAA tournament games are great when they get going, but at the end of the day, they're just not great when you start them, particularly the first game of a session. Uh, KB is going to join us. We're going to talk Colts quarterback. Right now it's 1914. Neither team can make a shot from three. Two for 10 for Loyola, 0 for 8 for Ohio State, but it bodes pretty well because the Branham kid has eight points. He's 4 or 5, and well, both teams are turning it over, too. This is a defensive struggle, so we'll see what happens. I took Ohio State. Uh, a lot of people were on it. Loyal. I did not take Ohio State until they got their best players back. To, not their best players, but their best defender, Kyle Young. All right, we'll be back. We've got KB. We'll talk quarterback of the Colts next. The Ride with JMV. From the Athletic, he covers the Raiders. Vic Tafer, how would you describe Yannick Ngakwe? Gus Bradley, just he loves him. And uh, Gus brought him in last year to kind of lead the you know, veteran influence of some of those guys. Ngakwe's matured a lot last three or four years. Uh, Gus knows that his strengths lie in getting pressure on the quarterback and helping the defense get things done. The Ride with JMV. Weekdays, 3 to 6. On 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. There's never been a better time for a cash out refinance. Apply online today at thehomeloanexpert.com. NMLS number 1326-241. Dan Dockage here for the Michelis Corporation. Spelled like Michael is, but pronounced Michelis. Waterproofing, Michelis. Water damage, leaks, those type of things. It's going to rain, and it's going to rain hard here over the next couple days. Make sure if you have any problem whatsoever. You call 844-FIX-INDY. That's 844-FIX-INDY or online at michelescorp.com. couple of things. Bill, Dave, James, and Brandon, the whole crew are fantastic. And don't forget also, if you have any kind of roof damage from the hailstorms this summer, you only got about six more months to get it figured out. You better get to Michelis right now at 844-FIX-INDY or online at michelescorp.com. This winter, the forecast calls for warm gulf breezes blowing through your hair and soft, sugary white sand below your feet. Along with mostly sunny skies on outdoor patios while dining al fresco, cool, colorful street murals mix with world-renowned art museums. And around sunset, there's a chance of fiery orange skies over emerald green waters. So this winter, don't bundle up, pack up, and immerse your senses in St. Pete Clearwater, Florida. Start planning your winter escape at visitstpeteclearwater.com. Jake Query here. You know, recently I returned to college to finish my degree, and I encourage you to join me. Whether you're like me and life simply got in the way, or you never went to college at all, Indiana offers financial assistance for those ready to move forward. If I can do it, I know you can too. If you're looking for a better job or doing it for your family, Indiana has grants to pay for over 150 certificates in high-wage industries. You're sure to find a tuition-free option that fits you. To apply, visit nextleveljobs.org today. Sponsored by the Indiana Commission for Higher Education. That's nextleveljobs.org. 
every dribble, every pass, and every bucket, all in the palm of your hand. Because now you can sign up and bet. No strings attached with Bet River Sportsbook app featuring award winning customer service. Live in game bets, player props, and instant betting. B -b -b bucket to bucket. Don't miss out on all the big games. Get in the action with Bet River Sportsbook app. Must be 21. Must be located in Indiana. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 9 with it. 1 800 994 8448. Whoever said the more the merrier sure wasn't in charge of hiring new employees because the more unqualified candidates you have for a job, the more difficult your hiring can be. And that can make the process, well, not so merry for you. Thankfully, there's ZipRecruiter, which you can try right now for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. ZipRecruiter's powerful technology finds the right candidates for your job. But unlike other sites, ZipRecruiter goes deeper. ZipRecruiter matches people with people and you can personally invite your top choices to apply because the perfect hire is more than a list of qualifications it's an individual ZipRecruiter makes hiring the right person easy and that'll keep you and everyone else very merry four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day so try ZipRecruiter for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire that's right free once again that's ZipRecruiter.com slash hire ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels like it falls a bit flat. So we're going to tap into human emotion, first with some music. Then in a serious tone, I'll say, save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive. And even though it was about saving money with Progressive, we'll fade out the music so you know it was poignant. Wow, powerful stuff. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations. Straight Talk Wireless now has the new iPhone 13 with cinematic mode, which lets you focus on what matters. And with Straight Talk, you can focus on getting the best deal. Our Silver Unlimited plan is just $45 a month for unlimited talk, text, and data. And it runs on the largest, most dependable networks. Now with nationwide 5G. With the iPhone 13 on Straight Talk, you can share whatever you want, wherever you want. Straight Talk Wireless. 5G-capable device required. Actual availability, coverage, and speed may vary. See terms and conditions at straighttalk.com. 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. WIBC HD2, W298BB, WIBC HD3, W228CX, Indianapolis. Monday on Kevin and Query, do the Colts have a new quarterback? And is Purdue in the Sweet 16? We'll break it all down for you. Join us 7 a.m. right here on The Fan. The Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. KB, I just heard your Will the Colts Have a Quarterback by Monday. Will the Colts have a quarterback by Monday? I think they will as long as Deshaun Watson, you know, is wants to end this recruitment or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think once the Watson domino falls, the Colts go pretty quickly. Um you know, right now, if and Watson is going to go where? home. And, yeah, I mean, if Watson's going back to play for his hometown team in, in Atlanta, you'd think that would be Matt Ryan. Um, you know, I, I, when you hear reports out of Cleveland that Baker Mayfield, they want a quarterback that can act like an adult, I, I don't think that necessarily is a ringing endorsement on bringing him here. And the free agent options, I, I probably like a little bit more than others. You know, I, Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota, I, I don't love giving up a draft pick for a Matt Ryan, but Knowing how the Colts operate, um, I, I, I think they would go that route. You good with it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, mm. I feel like that would be my response to pretty much anybody, Dan. You know, I'm a big believer in this. If you're going Band-Aid, the Band-Aid has got to get you to deep January. And I don't think he does that. I mean – Last year was arguably the worst season of Matt Ryan's career, if you look at some of the numbers. I mean, is this a dude, you know, walking up the 18th hole, waving to the, to the gallery? Like, that would be my concern there. Um, now, could you draft a quarterback and he can mentor him? And, you know, is that an aspect? Sure. But, like, when you immediately go there with a quarterback, you know, it's not a great ringing endorsement. So, you know, maybe he finds – Simple, better, you know, was something like really frustrated. Frank Reich, you know, Chris said it to you a few weeks ago. 
You know, Carson didn't make those layups. Okay, maybe Matt Ryan checks those boxes. But, again, I just think he's – at best, he's a game manager that gets you pretty much to the same result that you were at this year. I, I don't think he gives you much more than that. Better than uh, Philip Rivers. Um, I don't. Part of me says just bring Rivers out of retirement. You know, I say that a little bit in jest. You know, who knows what Rivers looks like nowadays? But um, maybe a little bit bigger arm. But I also think at times we kind of took for granted how well Philip did in, in you know finding rhythm plays, finding consistency in the passing game, just kind of methodically helping this offense move the ball through the air. Um, so I, I I don't know. Maybe he stretches the field a little bit, but then I'm sitting here, Dan, and I'm like, who's he stretching the field with? I mean, you can make the argument he had better weapons. I mean, we'll, we'll see how free agency plays out. But you can make the argument right now, you look at the Colts depth chart at receiver and tight end and say that Matt Ryan had better weapons at Atlanta last year, which is kind of a scary sight. Also, I, you know, I think what Carson was able to do with his legs last year is something that, like, you know, you would miss with a guy like Matt Ryan. I mean, think about how many sacks Wentz avoided last year. Now, certainly he brought some of those on, uh, some of those extra hits on just in his inability to process very quickly. But right now, you know, who knows who the left tackle is going to be? You put more of a statue back there, that's not going to be, you know, Anthony Costanzo-like when Rivers was quarterback in here a couple of years ago. KB, I heard on the show before mine and after yours, some lady named Courtney Cronin said how good, I think she said great wide receiver core here in Indy. Is there a signing that we don't know about? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. let's just got breaking <laughs> news some... to share. Um, I would not <laughs> use the word great to describe the wideout group here at all. Um, yeah, I, I said it earlier today, Dan. I think they're in the worst quarterback situation of any in the AFC. Uh, right now, and when you look at the wideout group, again, there are still some names out there in free agency, but as of right now, I mean, it's uh, honestly on paper, it's one of the worst groups in the league. I agree. I mean, look, what do you think? T.Y. Hilton making a little noise. What What, what is that? What, what What are we seeing there? Anything there? Yeah, I think part of that's just T.Y. being T.Y. I mean, I, I think he does want to play, and uh, I think that would be elsewhere. I'm probably in the minority with this band, I actually think he's got a little bit left. Uh, I, I don't think it's I do much. Too. Um, but I think there is something. And, again, when you look at this wideout group, I mean, Hilton would at least make me sleep a little bit better at night. Not not much better. It would still keep me up at night, but a little bit better. Um, I think he was really held back by Carson's play this past season. So, again, by no means am I saying – Bring back T.Y. Hilton for one year, $10 million, like Jim Irsay wanted to do last year. Um, but I, I, I do think Hilton can go somewhere and be, you know, somewhat effective. You know, it would have been interesting because everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people say, hey, look, you know, Carson Wentz missed that throw to Hilton down the left sideline. Um, if Carson Wentz hits that throw and Hilton takes it like 60 or 70 yards, whatever it was, the dynamic on both of them might be different. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it might be I like, know. God, T.Y. can break it open late, right? I mean, I don't know. I, yeah. Hey, what you and think you know of the better than, And you know this better yeah. than anybody, Dan. You, you know how like those one, one play can change everything. I mean, it, it, it's oh crazy. I, I think about that with IU. Like, if, if Corbello makes that layup and IU misses the tournament. I mean, what what are we saying now? Um, you know, and, and the flip side, you could say that about Purdue and some of the end-of-game situations they've had this year. Uh, I, I thought it was pretty embarrassing by IU last night. I don't I, I don't love how Woodson's handled some of those first-half subs this year. I, I just feel like you could stagger, you know, your best players a little bit more and not go full second unit like happens in the NBA so often. Um I mean, St. Mary's, you just, I think they're super disciplined. And if you give them chances, and IU gave them, you know, chances there in the first half, they were capitalized on it and jump on it. So watching IU last night has me very worried for watching Notre Dame later today, considering Notre Dame has even less time in between games, and they also played uh, two overtimes the other night. 
I feel like Notre Dame, though, has a mature approach based on a coach being there longer. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's kind of like my agree more to make that. fun of it. Huh? I couldn't agree more with that. Um, yeah, I mean, Bray was talking about drinking Irish whiskey on the plane ride to San right. Diego. And I also think, I mean, you'll watch them today. Bray will get off that bench and tell them to slow it down every single possession. I mean, they will – this will be like – Navy playing, you know, a Big 12 school. Like, Alabama wants to get up and down the floor and get it in the 80s, and Bray's going to want to milk the clock like none other. So I've watched a ton of Alabama. They're just, you know, thinking back to how they looked last year when they had a better team and the few times I've seen them this year. They're going to want to play a lot of guys and get up and down the floor. Uh, last thing, I'll let you go. I can tell you are you are. What are you doing today? What What do you got? You guys, you, you and the family, you out drinking somewhere today, watching games? What are you doing? God, I wish. I, I, you've probably been in this <laughs> before. I'm trying to hold off Rosie deep into uh, an afternoon nap as best as possible. We got Purdue at yeah. two, and we've got Notre Dame yeah. at four ten. So. We are, you can probably hear in the background, um, we're, we're, we're trying to sucker. We're trying to pass the, hopefully mom isn't listening to that right now. We're trying to hold her off as long as possible so we can get the fattest nap of her life so dad can enjoy some basketball. Yeah, don't be afraid to pull a little whiskey on those gums. But anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> hey, last thing, all right, you're scared about Notre Dame. What do you think about Purdue? I'm not scared at all. Um, I, Yale's got no size. No size whatsoever. Hammer the post. I guess Yale's smart. That would scare me a little bit, maybe. Um, but their best player is a guard. Put Hunter on him. You know, he's been a pretty good defender. Hammer the post. I think Purdue wins. I will say that I fully get Purdue fans right now and being like, Kentucky losing last night, like, is this too good to be true? I mean, you know, if you would have told Purdue fans at the start of the year to get to the Elite Eight, you have a combination of Yale, St. Peter's, Murray State, Virginia Tech, and Texas. You know, that, I mean, that's, that's a pretty dream scenario. But, hey, that's the reality you got right now, and you got to take advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's un-Purdue-like because usually things happen the other way for Purdue. But as we sit here right now, big boy, I'll tell you what, Purdue looking all right. Hey, have a great afternoon, man. Get ready hey, to I bed. I need one Go loss from you. I need I, – I, I need one uh, lock from you. I'll give you. it to you. I got Ohio I, State I, money I, line. Yep. Uh, I'm taking Michigan State. I'll give the point. I'm, I'm taking Sparty tonight. Uh, I've been yeah. talking to Izzo. I like Sparty. And it's only one. Yeah. I like short lines, and I'm taking Miami with the two. I like, I like In order, I like, I like Sparty, Ohio State, and then uh, Miami. I'm rolling, too. Yeah, I'm on Sparty. I, I think got. that point guard will be in over his head facing his former teammates. I do, too. Uh, although, I must say, Foster Lawyer, whatever the hell his name is, is a pretty tough kid. His dad was a pretty tough guy, too. So maybe they can hang, but I ain't buying it. I'll take Sparty today, tomorrow, the next day in this. And if we lose, we lose. We'll just make another bet on the next game. That's what I like about this weekend. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Saturday, we got eight more games. We'll figure it out. I mean, look, we're not going to win them all, but we've been winning them all. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Yep, have a great weekend. That's a great Kevin Bowen. Bowen. Kevin and Quarry mornings right here on 107.5. John after me. I don't know where the hell you want to go. You don't want to go anywhere. You shouldn't want to go anywhere. Tomorrow morning, we've moved it a little bit. We are on from 8 to 11 as my daughter walks into place, ladies and gentlemen, the great Laura Dockage. Uh, she last night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. LD, get a Coors Light. The gals are here. Let's get a Coors Light. Let's get the party started. What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, we're rolling. Now we're cooking. Yeah. This is not the Shake Shack. This is the Saint Shack. Saint Shack right here across uh, Meridian, uh, right by a little bit north of the Slippery Noodle, if you're coming from the south. Uh, actually, it's north of the Slippery Noodle. Either way, north or south. And don't forget, uh, we're right here on the west side of Meridian. We got Ohio State fans in here. Ohio State is Garden. Loyal is Garden. Ohio State is up five. I think this is a big second half for Ohio State's faith in Chris Holtman. And I hate that I'm saying it that way because I think Chris Holtman is terrific, and I'll take a bullet for him. 
Laura, grab a headset real quick. Laura, I need you to grab a headset real quick. I want to ask you about Kentucky last night. Do we have a headset? No, no, no. Just, just grab a headset. I'm, 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 I'm good at this. <laughs> this is my daughter, Laura. Hello, Laura. Dad, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Testing. You one, guys two. were at the Kentucky game last night. Incorrect. You guys were at the Murray State game last night. That is correct. So what was, as you were walking in, and Kentucky fans were getting the sad out. Oh, yeah. How mad were Kentucky fans downtown last night? Let's just say one of my friends might have told them, go Vols, and it did not end well. What happened? <laughs> they, get... they just side-eyed us and were really mad. Um, but they were really mad. But it was nice that they all left because then we got to move down to some lower levels and get some good seats to watch the Murray State game. And nobody stayed. Uh, Kentucky fans. Yeah, most, most cried and left. Yeah, no fights. We didn't see fights. Unfortunately not. Reason I'm asking is last time they got beat bad here, two things happened. Because they were so drunk, they stopped beer for the first and only time ever at the Game Bridge, I guess it's called now, I'm pointing. Um, they stopped because Kentucky fans were so hammered while they were getting beat by Duke, they were fighting each other in the concourses. So they had to, they brought a paddy wagon in to underneath to process all the Kentucky fans and they cut off the beer. Well, they did not do that last night. Good. Some of us are feeling it today. <laughs> what was the beer of choice last night? Uh, Coors Light. Coors Light. Is that a girl? Coors yeah. 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 Always is. We got Coors Light flowing right here at the Saint Shack, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not the Shake Shack, folks. It isn't. And it's on Meridian. Where The Shake Shack is over by Mass Ave. Correct. Yeah. Right. We already we we almost went there. We went to Dairy Queen. We've had a morning. We walked the canal. We had a morning. We had a morning. We, um, we went to brunch. You're Indiana. Your first team all sorority and first team all Kilroys. Yes. What did you think last night of the beloved Hoosiers? It was a disappointment. Yeah. That's just what I have to say. Yeah. I was really sad and it's a tough loss, but we'll be we'll be back. How quick did you get the sad out? Uh, very well, very quick because we decided that we wanted to go to this game, so we kind of forgot about. The loss. Did you make a stop at Kilroy's and take <laughs> your um, legends? What, yeah, your legends shirt, cards, whatever. No, we thought about it, but we were in a rush, and we thought our tickets were scammed, so we had a lot going on. But it it all ended up to be good, and we'll try again next year. All right. There you go. You're not eating meat today. No, that is a uh, that is a veggie dog. Oh, okay. They have great hot dogs here. Yeah, gourmet. And ridiculously good. Try it. Here, you guys want to try these or is everybody yeah, dieting? Sure. No, yeah, we are yeah. far from dieting they're, at uh, this point. They're tater tots. The great Reggie Jones turned me on to them. And, uh, yeah, Reginald! You got anything else you want to say? I mean, feel free to hang. We're going to hang. I mean, we just got served a Coors Light. Uh, no, I got nothing. Oh, I do have something to ask you. What? But without the microphone. Nah, let's go. <laughs> do you have any cash? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why? Uh, we're going to the mall. I don't have mall cash. Come on, I, you have a uh, here's what I got. I got there's a five. I got Rush Street money. I got fives and singles. I don't carry cash. I was just thinking that it's I got been nine a while. large. I can't even pay for parking. <laughs> Fair. I got nine. Now I'll tell you what. If Iowa State wins, we'll have a look. You, that's all I got. <sighs> Bad answer. You got a credit card though. Uh, as do you. <laughs> <laughs> You got a credit card and a job, more importantly, in that order, I think. Uh, what are we going? Fashion mall? Downtown mall? Where we, oh, we're going big. We're going yeah. big. Yeah, we're going we fashion. Some. And it's been a while since you sponsored a shopping spree, so. It is. I'll go with you sometime. No, thanks. <laughs> All right. All right. You like my throne? Yeah. You, know, you do have a throne. Oh, I got it. We're at the, where are we? St. Shack. St. Shack, right here on Meridian. It's really cool. Good, it is. T talk about because you're cooler than me. If I talk about it, I'm old guy yelling at clouds trying to be cool. Yelling at clouds. Uh, it's really cool. What, we got slushies over there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Are they, are they alcoholic? I would imagine they'll find vodka if you want vodka <laughs> or gin if you want gin. Or, the boys over here are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they got here early, the Ohio State guys. Yeah. All right, Coors Light's flowing. Uh, hot dogs are rolling. 
And Laura Dockage is here, ladies and gentlemen. What and could Kirsten be? Parker and Kendall Crowley. Hey, I, I want to make sure we get everybody. Uh, and Kyle Knezovich is and, in the house, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. He is. I need two minutes with Kyle if you'll come over here and take Laura's place real quick. This is Please the, save me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well... Once you found out I had no cash, yeah, one thing I know out. is no use for me, Kendall. <laughs> we'll no use ya. for Double Dizzle. Uh, take the headset and try not to cost me money, Knezovich. Uh, Kyle Knezovich put this whole thing together, ladies and gentlemen. And let me ask you, why are we here? Okay, what's up? Why are we here? It's a, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Watching games? Why are we at Coors Light? Why are we at the Saint Shack? I love this place. This is going to be my new spot. Oh, why did we pick this place? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. best friend Josh, his wife, owner. She has a couple partners too, but owns the Saint Shack. Downstairs is the patron saint. That's the nightclub. So if Double oh, D and Lee want to get out, you know, DJ spinning some wax. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Put, the, yeah. put those moves on. That, right. Yeah, for sure. Nightclub down below. Yep. It's the old Subterra. I remember the Subterra. Yep, same oh, yeah. spot. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but, yeah, the Subterra, man. Yep. I remember one night, I forget what I was doing. I did a show, and we were at Slippery Noodle, and I was walking this way on this side of the street, and it must have been before the Subterra was opening. And I got to tell you, if I were the dad of some of those women, I would have brought a blanket and covered them up. Because people weren't wearing enough clothes, in my opinion. That's the old guy in me. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> All right, before I let you go, what would you think of the Hoosiers last night? Uh, I, I, honestly, I could not believe that happened. I mean, I, you, you tell me. No. They, when they play well, they're a pretty good team. And when they're bad... They're not very good at all. And last night, that might have been one of the worst performances this year. I think it was the worst. Yeah. I think it was a team that got broke. Wasn't ready to play, and then it got broke. Why? I mean, you can say because of, I don't know, tired. I don't know. The other team was relentless. Maybe the Big Ten's not that good. We're going to find out. We're going to find out if the Big Ten's any good. I mean, look, right now... Uh, Michigan won. Ohio State's winning, and that's about it. But we're going to find out if the Big Ten's any good. How about know? Iowa, too? I mean, obviously, yeah, Kentucky Iowa was but ridiculous. Like, Look, when <laughs> Iowa got beat, they got beat because the wrong Murray kept shooting. Like, you got to have the right guy shooting. That shocked me. It's the first time in my existence that I have actually bought into Iowa. Usually I say, Iowa gonna Iowa. What do you got? Jimmy Chrysler. Kreitzer. Reggie? Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to make sure I get this right. No, no swearing. Reggie Jones is going to go back to work. So, Jimmy, how about you do this? How about you call a lesser employee? You've got greatness here. And as I've always said, Reggie, I was gonna say, what, you, what if you're gonna saying. get fired for leaving and going to watch the games, you ain't that damn good at the job anyway. Uh, I can't believe that Jimmy Kreitzer is going to is going to bother Reggie Jones on the Friday, the Friday of the NCAA tournament. Why did I know my daughter was going to hang out over by the booze over there? I don't understand it. Why did I know that? I mean, why not? I don't know. Will you entertain her so she doesn't get in trouble? As soon as she came in, I said, El Dizzle. Well, the hizzle and the dizzle. All hey, right. I went to, uh, I mentioned this to her, Nashville. First time last year for the Rolling Stones and yeah. Nissan. And then we went out to Broadway. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah, they don't care there. Maybe no. You probably had your hazmat suit on and your six shields. Hey, look, Nash Vegas don't care, baby. <laughs> it did not exist there. No, and you know who? You know, I think Laura has a star on the Walk of Fame in Nash Vegas after being only there for a couple of years. <laughs> I think she do. We ended up at Tootsie's. It was, um, yeah. you know, it was you got to go to Tootsie's. It was still prime things happening with with COVID, and it with it, it didn't exist, and there were it was. You know, elbow to elbow. I was like, Nash Ooh. Vegas. Nash Vegas no, didn't care. No. <laughs> no, you can take all your masks and all your things and like, hey, good for you, but we're, we're opening. 
All right, thanks, my brother. Hey. Thanks for having us here. I'm going to bite into this veggie dog yeah. right here. We got people cheering. We got yelling. We got all kind of stuff. Thanks for being here. Thanks for giving shouts to the St. Jack and, of course, Coors Light. We yeah. love them. Coors Light. I'm getting ready to get into one in about an hour. In one, I don't like drinking all the time because then I say stupid stuff, and I feel so guilty all the time. I wake up in the middle of the night and feel bad, so I'm out. Well, Catholic guilt gets us. Oh, Catholic guilt kills you. All right, we'll be back. We're at the Saint Shack. I'm dying to bite into this veggie dog. We'll be right back. Hey, Indy. Want big winners in college hoops and the NBA? Catch me, Joe Wiz, host of The Fine Line, Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. right here on The Fan. Hey, this is Spencer Thompson from Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. Since 1927, our family has served Central Indiana with the best service and quality furniture by Indiana-made Smith Brothers of Burn, Lazy Boy, and Flex Deal. Made in the USA mattresses by Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and & Foster, and all-weather outdoor furniture by Berlin Gardens and Pollywood. We guarantee the lowest price and free delivery. Better prices, better quality, better get the Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. Hey guys, looking for a reason to spend three days on the couch watching basketball? Schedule your vasectomy at Urology of Indiana for a Thursday or Friday, then sit back, relax, and catch some games over the weekend while you recover. It may be the only time your wife approves of hoarding the couch and the remote control. Vasectomies at Urology of Indiana are simple and typically take only about 15 minutes. Soon after, you'll be out the door and on your way home. During your recovery, you'll take ibuprofen and be back to your normal activities in three days. The docs at Urology of Indiana are board certified and perform vasectomies every day of the week, all year long. They're pros at what they do. And they have multiple vasectomy clinics, so chances are good there's one close to you. If you've been putting off your vasectomy, now is the time. You'll never have a better excuse to watch basketball. Call Urology of Indiana or visit vasectomyindy.com for information and to schedule an appointment. That's vasectomyindy.com. Hey, Indy. Tim Pearson here, founder of Chattanooga Whiskey. Did you know March Madness and Chattanooga Whiskey have a lot in common? For example, we selected our flagship bourbon recipe through Bracketology. That's right. After years of distilling and barreling hundreds of experimental recipes, barrel number 91 emerged as our champion. We now call it Chattanooga Whiskey 91, an award-winning small batch bourbon. Featuring notes like toasted honey and graham cracker, we think you'll enjoy it as much as we do. Drink Chattanooga Whiskey, enjoy responsibly. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. This is Claudia's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. I had just moved to a new city and barely even knew where the grocery store was yet. When my car wouldn't start one morning, I didn't know who to ask about local shops. But I remembered a name from back home, O'Reilly Auto Parts. I called, and they pointed me to a great mechanic just down the street. Now, I feel a little more at home. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. College basketball fans, join the action on the court during the biggest tournament of the year with DraftKings Sportsbook. Turn your team's victory into your own big win. New customers can bet just $5 on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. It is that simple. If they win, you win. DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also bet on college hoops with same game parlays. Multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. More legs you add, the more money you can win. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use code 1075FAN. Bet $5 on any college hoops team to win. Get $200 in free bets if they do. That's code 1075 Fan this week at DraftKings Sportsbook, 21 or older, Indiana only, new customers only. Minimum $5 deposit restrictions do apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for all the details. Gambling problem and need help? Call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Terry Stacy here with your American Standard Race Day weather. Brought to you by Family Heating and Air. Nobody cares for you like family. IndyCar travels to the always exciting Texas Motor Speedway Sunday for their second race. Sunny and 77 at the Green Flag. NASCAR returns east after their western swing racing in Atlanta this Sunday. Sunny and a high of 66. This has been your American Standard Race Day Weather, brought to you by Family Heating and Air Conditioning, your trusted independent American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning dealer. 
The deals are blooming at the JCPenney Spring Sale, starting with an array of doorbusters while they last, like men's and women's jeans from a and and St. John's Bay. Select styles and washes, just $21.99. And Linden Street Performance Bath Towels in all your favorite colors, only $5.99. Or use your coupon to save an extra 20% across the store. Spring's back. So are the savings. J.C. Penney offers valid 37 to 323. Some exclusions apply. See store or jcp.com for details. Doorbusters excluded from coupons. Hi, my name is Takia, and a little thing that I love about the Smokehouse Barbecue Bacon Sandwich is when I take a bite, it's the perfect blend from the bacon to the cheese. It's perfection. Hey, I'm Katora, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A mac and cheese is it kind of melts in your mouth, so you know it's creamy, cheesy, and delicious. This gooey mac makes me cheese every time. <laughs> Order dinner delivered on the Chick-fil-A app today. Delivery fee and other restrictions apply. Real guests paid for their testimonials. Are you an HVAC technician, plumber, or sewer and drain specialist? Has your company been swallowed up by a national company? Concerned about becoming a small cog in a large wheel? Searching for a place where you can make a difference and feel appreciated? Then call Vasey Commercial Facility Solutions. They're hiring experienced industrial commercial technicians. Get full benefits and true work-life balance. Call Vasey now at 317-873-2512. 317-873-2512. Or go to Vasey.com to learn more. Tired of being tracked online? DuckDuckGo can help. They help millions of people like you take control of their personal information online. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. Dan Dockich and JMB broadcast live at different food and bar locations around Indianapolis this week. Check out 1075thefan.com backslash events to see where you can find them next. The Ride with JMV. Gus Bradley, who is the new defensive coordinator of the Colts. I think as a defensive coordinator, you're always looking at that fourth quarter rush and how important it is. It wins games for you. It starts up front with our defensive line, and then we build around that. And those covered corners, especially in our style of play, I mean, we're going to be aggressive on the perimeter. You see a lot of press coverage. You know, we've got to win you know, at the line of scrimmage. The Ride with JMV. Weekdays, 3 to 6. On 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. It's the Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5, The Fan. As most of you know, I am into superlatives. I am a hyperbola. Is uh, Everything's the greatest, the best, the, the greatest I've ever seen. That's the best Laura Dockett. That's the best veggie dog I've ever eaten. In fact, I would argue that's one of the top five hot dogs I've ever had in my life. I don't know if it's healthy. I don't know if it's not healthy. I just know it was really good. And as a good Catholic, some of us are good Catholics. Some of us drink Coors Light and walk away. Oh, man. But anyway, uh, Ohio State with the ball, 19 minutes to go, up five. This is the very definition of a grinded-out game. I mean, you got to make shots over people. Ohio State now up seven. It is a hell of a game. We did take Ohio State earlier. It became a pick 'em game. A lot of you, when we saw that, uh, well, we saw Kyle Young and Zeb Key were back. We took them. Purdue getting ready to get going here in about a half hour. I'm going to break this down for you, and I did it on a video that's on the 107.5 website. Here's what I did. I, I, I look yesterday. Michigan fell into a bad trap early in the game, and what they did was they had a size advantage, so they just threw it in, threw it in, threw it in, threw it in. And that's fine, okay? (laughs) That's fine. And I got no problem with that. But um, I, I, you get out of a normal rotation in your offense. And one of the things that you got to be able to do is run your offense if you're Purdue. If you're Purdue, you cannot just throw it in, throw it in. They're going to be ready for that. So run your offense and throw it in. All right? That's all I'm saying. Run your offense, throw it in, make sure that Ivy's involved, make sure Stefanovic is involved, make sure there's cutting and there's moving. Make sure all of this is involved. 
And if you do that, you're going to be in business. But if you just stand with the basketball and it screws up, screws up everything that you're trying to do offensively, you're going to be down and then you'll figure it out just like, just like the Wolverines did. I'm telling you. So that's big for Purdue. That may be the biggest thing for Purdue, biggest thing for IU. Get guys in there that are serious about being at IU. Be serious about it. Not worrying about TikTok videos or... No, just have guys that are serious. That's it. And have expectations. And is not just a guy that, let's be honest, um, is here because, you know, it's a bigger program. And I'm just saying, a bigger program. Well, I want to go to the bigger program. All right. Well, that's great. It's absolutely great. But the truth of the matter is, yeah, a bigger program is wonderful, but we want guys with winning mentalities. And coming from Northwestern, frankly, you are not going to have a winning mentality. So I don't know what to tell you. You know, um, when, oh boy. Oh boy. My daughter can't make it outside 100 feet without getting busted carrying a beer. No. Said the cop loves me though. They took a picture. (laughs) Perks, baby. Perks of the job. Anyway. Uh, Baker Mayfield or Matt Ryan. That's what I think this is going to come down to, meaning Deshaun Watson will go either to Atlanta or Deshaun Watson will go to Cleveland. But I loved, ladies and gentlemen, I'm curious what you all think. I loved the fact that the Cleveland Browns said, oh, wait, hold on now. Uh, Baker, you are demanding a trade. Uh, Baker, we're not worried about what you're demanding. That's the greatest thing ever. Seriously. Baker Mayfield said, I'm demanding a trade. The Browns said, yeah, I don't give a rat's ass. That's it. I, I don't, you know, all right. Imagine if you're trying to recruit a quarterback to Indianapolis. Hey, guys, come here. We don't have a fast receiver. Oh, that's not great. Uh, One plus is you are playing inside. One plus, another plus, is not only are you playing eight games or nine, whatever it is, inside, but you get to go to Houston. Let's just say nine, that's 10. You go to Tennessee, 11. You go to Jacksonville, that's 12. So you're playing 12 games in good weather. If I'm a quarterback, uh, that would be a big deal. And if you really break down quarterbacks... Look, I understand. I really do. I understand how Aaron Rodgers hasn't won enough for people to say he's the greatest of all time and all that. I get it. I do. But when you do what Aaron Rodgers has done in that weather, that got to count for something. Got to. Got to account for something. Has to. So, now, quarterbacks, come here to Indy. Well, we got great. Weather for our games at home because, you know, but I don't have any receivers. Now, the one thing that I would like, I do, I I would like is uh, I'm not mad at all, not even a little bit, at the running game. I want a running game, and I am not all in love with the line like a lot of you are. I don't think Lewinsky is a big loss. I don't think it's a great thing, though. I don't think it's a great thing that Lewinsky's gone. A lot of people say, well, I don't care next guy, and I do agree with that. But the truth of the matter is, it ain't great because lines are all about, what is it? Lines are all about, we're all going to be cohesive. This is the question, Daniel Paul, that I'm getting today, and I don't have the answer. Dan, do I take Purdue minus 16? I see a lot of heads shaking, no? I don't think so either. And then they're going to win by 20. I feel like if I took them, they'd win by 10. If I don't take them, they're going to win by 20. That's, That's the kind of day this one feels like. The only bet that I have going right now, because we're not betting in the tournament, we're investing in the tournament. There's a difference. This is an investment. We're up 2,700. I just looked at it. 
goal is to get to five grand. Right now, Ohio State 29 and Loyola Chicago 18. We ain't mad about it. Loyola Chicago has taken nine more shots, but they're down by 11, which means they haven't made any more shots. Ohio State's guard. Ohio State looks to me, and again, this is where a guy can influence. Like I told you the other day about, uh, I thought that one of the keys to Indiana was how Trace Jackson Davis started guarding. Well, I think one of the keys to Ohio State is having Kyle Young back directing traffic. I want You guys are way far ahead of me, I think, because I saw you guys holding up three fingers. they got to be way ahead of us. I don't want to look at their screen. Hey, we're here at the, Sa- at the Saint Shack. I literally just had, I'm not a big tater tots guy, but I had the best tater tots I've ever had, and I'm telling you right now, it's a gourmet hot dog place, and this place, the hot dog that I just had, the veggie dog, in freaking credible. And a lot of guys are having bacon wrapped dogs. I'm more religious than most, of course. You know, being Catholic, I'm not going to have the meats. But it is so good here, and it is located on Meridian right before, if you're coming from downtown, right before the, uh, the bridge at Meridian, literally a block north of the Slippery Noodle. Comeback is on its way from Loyola. They are playing hard. It's an eight-point game. Loyola with the ball. They traveled three times, three on the air. Am I no good? I'm going to give you a little play-by-play. Rebound, kick out, but I'm way far away from you guys. You guys are so far ahead of me. They're actually at a commercial on the regular thing. I don't care. I don't care. We're all right. 317-239-1070, that's the number. Let's get some phone calls in here. What do you think of the IU Hoosier basketball team? Where do you think Indiana goes from here? Anybody have any idea? Anybody know what they're looking for? I'm looking for a mentality, and I think Woody's going to do that. I think Woody, I would argue that's that would be Woody's specialty. I think Woody has a toughness about him that his team did not share. Right, wrong, happy, sad, angry, or glad. I mean, I get it. Everybody's trying to get a job. But the truth of the matter is you got to watch film and not do TikTok videos. But when you bring Northwestern guy here, you got a problem. Don't bring Northwestern guy here. Bring others here. Bring good players with great mentalities here. We don't need a Northwestern mentality here as a basketball. Maybe football. Hell, I don't know. But not basketball. So go out and recruit some guys, get some guys that know what the hell they're doing, know their way around it, and let's go. I don't know where I am in this game. What did I screw up, Cam? Oh, there it is. I think, did I go backwards? Oh. Anyway, Jacksonville State getting whooped by Auburn, Yale, Purdue coming up. Uh, go check out the video that I have on 107.5. It tells you exactly what's going to happen. IU fans, here's the deal. You had a chance last night to do something special. You had a chance last night uh, along the lines of, I don't know, Moye blocking Carlos Boozer and beating Duke. Watch shot, beating the best team in the world, supposedly, in Kentucky. I mean, Indiana basketball, I can go through games where half the team's been hurt. Indiana winning a Big Ten title. Let's talk Mike Woodson. When Mike Woodson was out basically for the entire year, Indiana winning a Big Ten title by beating Ohio State by beating Illinois and by beating Purdue last three games of the year without the best player, Ted Kitchell. Indiana getting to the Elite Eight, beating Michael Jordan. Indiana getting to the 2002 National Championship game. I mean, what are you doing? You had a chance last night to do something special. When's the last time Indiana basketball did something special? You tell me. Last time Indiana basketball overcame an odds, overcame something. When was the last time? Please tell me. Oh, man, they beat oh, uh, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan was 17 and 11. I mean, I'm not talking about playing so bad that you're getting your brains beat out. I'll listen. I'll hang up and listen, ladies and gentlemen. That's what irritated me about last night's game. Not that they lost. Hey, look, they could have played well and gotten their brains beat out. They could have. But they didn't. They didn't even play. And when you have a chance to do something special, you're kind of supposed to compete like hell when you're at Indiana. At least that's the way I look at it. I don't anticipate, you know, and there's even probably a lot of former players that would disagree with me, and that's cool. 
That's fine. I'm just telling you from my perspective, that's what Indiana should be. Indiana should be the team that when the back's against the wall, you got sack enough that, hey, look, hey, we're going to play. We're going to play our brains out. All right? I mean, that's what you're going to – and they didn't. All right, let's talk about Purdue. Purdue. When we come back, I'm going to give you the same kind of spiel on Purdue, although Purdue has been way better than Indiana over the last 20 years. But it is time, is it not, you Purdue fans, for Purdue to stand up? I mean, you're going to have to play St. Peter's at some point. Let's go. It starts in about, I don't know, 18 minutes. So get your TV ready and listen to our show, and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Is Kentucky the first NIL-related loss? Is Kentucky, last night, the worst loss in NCAA history? Is Kentucky still a nationally relevant program? The answers will be, well, Indiana sucks. Yeah, okay, well, we know that. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're asking. And I know know that's what we're going to hear, but that ain't what we're asking. We're not asking that. We're asking, is Kentucky still Kentucky? Got a lot to talk to you guys about. It's a great day at College Hoops. Come on down to the St. Shack. We got a lively crowd. We got some swag. The St. Shack right here on Meridian, just a little bit north of the Slippery Noodle, right here on Meridian. Join us live today from Bottleworks B-Ball Bash, starting at 3 with JMV. Bottleworks B-Ball Bash, March 17th through 20th. More info at bottleworksdistrict.com slash b-ball bash. It's Antler Point Golf Course in Rushville, less than an hour from Indy. Give Antler Point in Rushville a swing. AntlerPointGolf.com. That's point with an E. Hey, it's JMV for the absolute best in realty. Mark Deedle at 317-755-4232. That's 317-755-4232. Online, markdeedle.com. Mark, D-I-E-T-E-L.com today. The absolute best and the only person I would trust if I were putting my house on the market. And the only agent I recommend, Mark Deedle will guarantee multiple offers in three days for full market value or he's going to list it for free. Don and Joyce at Indianapolis. We were ready to move into our new dream house, but needed to sell our current home quickly and at a great price to make it all work. Enter Mark Deedle. Like he promises, he got us multiple offers in days for $16,000 over the list price. That's Mark Deedle. Mark Deedle Realty. 317-755-4232. That number. 317-755-4232. Tell him I sent you online. MarkDeedle.com. That's Mark D-I-E. T-E-L dot com today. Every dribble, every pass, and every bucket, all in the palm of your hand. Because now you can sign up and bet. No strings attached with Bet River Sportsbook app featuring award-winning customer service. Live in-game bets, player props, and instant betting. Bucket to bucket. Don't miss out on all the big games. Get in the action with Bet River Sportsbook app. Must be 21. Must be located in Indiana. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. 1-800-994-8448. Hey, I'm on the phone right now with Ryan Kelly, the home loan expert. He's busy because the housing market is a boom. Refinances are a boom. You can get a hold of him at 317-550-1515 or just go to thehomeloanexpert.com. And Ryan, it doesn't matter how much you need, 5000 10000 100000 You're doing big-time refinances right now for everybody. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, a lot of folks are carrying a lot of debt right now. You know, I, I'm no different. You know, things are just costing a lot more than they used to. And unfortunately, salaries are just not keeping up. And if you have some of that credit card debt or one of those risky home equity lines of credit, or even if you're just like paycheck to paycheck, barely holding up, if you're a homeowner, there's a really good opportunity for you. It's a cash out refinance. A cash out refinance is just as simple as a normal refinance where we go in and replace your loan with a better one. But we don't stop there. We pull up that equity and give it to you at closing. Our average client received over $52,000 in cash from a simple refinance. What would you do with that? Let's make it a reality. The Hi, it's Bob from Royal Spa. 
Soaking in a hot tub of Epsom salts is the absolute best way to minimize everyday aches and pains. And we know all about Epsom salts at Royal Spa. Royal Spa is the only hot tub manufacturer on the market today that can safely and effectively use Epsom salts. Royal Spa hot tubs are the highest quality hot tubs on the market. Stop into any of our free Indianapolis locations today or visit us online at royalspa.com. Ah, Royal Spa. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Subscription required. Hey, hey you. It's me, your old self, your old confidence, your youth, your looks. What's the matter? You afraid I'm gone because you're losing your hair? It's not too late. 4 Hems has a prescription treatment that's shown amazing results stopping hair loss and regrowing hair. It's called Topical Finasteride and Minoxidil Spray. With two proven hair loss treatments inside, it's the only hair loss spray of its kind. No pills, no messy application. Guys usually see results in just three to six months. No wonder it's their number one best-selling hair loss product. It's only available by prescription, but at 4 you can connect with a medical provider online who will, if appropriate, prescribe this medication and ship it directly to your door. Come on, man. Go to 4 and get your hair back. Your old confidence wants to come home. For a free online consultation, go to 4 slash results. Regrow your hair in three to six months at F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash R-E-S-U-L-T-S. 4 slash results. Make the short trip to experience Antler Point Golf Course in Rushville. Less than an hour from Indy. Give Antler Point in Rushville a swing. AntlerPointGolf.com. That's point with an E. Terry Stacy here with your American Standard Race Day weather. Brought to you by Absolute Comfort, your American Standard Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. IndyCar travels to the always exciting Texas Motor Speedway for their second race, sunny and 77 at the green flag. NASCAR returns east after their western swing racing in Atlanta this Sunday, sunny and a high of 66. This has been your American Standard Race Day weather brought to you by Absolute Comfort, your American Standard Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. And the starting lineup for the Wildcats of Lawrence North at guard, a six foot one inch senior, number 10, Brandon McPherson. At guard, a six foot one inch junior, number 11, Mike Conley. Mike Conley scores his first two points. He's a young man that is as good a guard as there is in the state, maybe in the country at the high school level. He's just a junior, and sometimes he gets lost. Well, I think he runs the show a lot, directs traffic a lot, gives, makes other people better, and doesn't emphasize his own ability to score. But I agree with that last statement you made. He is one of the better point guards in the state of Indiana. That's Mike Conley, Lawrence North High School, 2005 for a state championship. Lawrence North, Muncie Central. Lawrence won the game. And that was Dave Nicholson and Nicholson, I'm sorry, and Christian Airy on the call along with Greg Oden. Conley led LN to three consecutive 4A state championships under the great Jack Kiefer. Conley helped LN become the first 4A school to repeat as state champs. Number three rated point guard, number 18 rated player in the country by some clown website. Committed to Ohio State along with Greg Oden. Played there, was all Big Ten first year, number four overall seed. Man, he's been in the NBA since 2007. He's been an all-star, second-team all-NBA. Hey, look, it is your chance to see some future stars in person for a whole lot less money than what you'll pay to watch him in college or in the pros. It is here. It's semi-state round of this year's IHSA Boys State Tournament. Win, get into the state finals. What a thrill. All four classes play Saturday. For game schedules, locations, visit IHSAA.org. High school sports deserves... Your support, when you buy a ticket, you're directly supporting your high school. You're supporting a pure form of sports. Don't miss it. Nothing compares to IHSAA basketball, specifically the IHSAA basketball tournament. Soccer Saturday between Indy 11. If this is your football, this is your show. Saturday at 9 on The Fan. The Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. Hey, Dan, my friend Neil Coyle is an assistant of J.R. Holmes. He was laughing about J.R. going to Assembly Auto to collect his $7. Told him that story. Hey, Dan, today, that's a gallon of gas. No kidding. Man, no, no skidding. Holy cow. 
Uh, the fake son kid signed with the Colts. He is a corner. But Gus Bradley is the de facto general manager, apparently, of the Colts. And away you go. You know, the 10-year plan for the Colts is alive and well and living in the state of Indiana. George Bremen, who does a really good job of covering the Colts, says this. Lots of speculation as the Colts quarterback watch 2022 continues. Truth is, the player Indy drafts this year or next is far more important than the player they sign or trade for this week or next. Really? Colts, I'm telling you, you guys laughed at me and thought I was being facetious when I told you that this was a 10-year plan, at least according to the media. And this by Bremer is exactly what I have told you. Placeholder. How many placeholders are we going to have? Seriously, placeholder. That's the big word, right? Placeholder. And, of course, Zachy Kiefer says this is the truth. Well, if Zach says it, he stands by that work. I'm telling you, it's a 10-year plan, man, for these media guys. It is. They are so in love with this group because they get all the access that they want that there is absolutely no heat on anybody around here to perform. It is literally the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I'm being truthful here. I've never seen anything like it in professional sports. This is year six. It's year six. What's the plan for quarterback? What's the plan for edge rusher? What's the plan for cornerback? What the hell's the plan? I mean, somebody tell me. Please, let me know. I mean, you don't have an edge rusher, you don't have a corner, you don't have a wide receiver, you don't have a left tackle, you don't have a quarterback, but there you go. Into year six. You guys thought I was BSing you. You thought I was exaggerating. But this is what guys around here want. Like, what are you doing? Don't we have higher expectations than to be in year six and we still don't have a quarterback, a left tackle? Don't have a wide receiver, don't have a cornerback? Shouldn't there be a little bit? I mean, I know I get on the media... But, all right, let's just talk about, I don't know, expectations. Shouldn't there be an expectation of a professional franchise to have something in place by a general manager when you, well, not something in place, but you should have the main parts in place? Honest to God, that drives me nuts, and it drives me nuts every day. Jeez. Uh, still the most disrespectful asinine sports statue in America is right down the street right here. John Wooden, one of the biggest cheaters in college basketball. When you got, uh, I don't know, Slick Leonard, Bob Knight in this state, Gene Cady, but that's who we choose to put facing Lucas or uh, Gainbridge Fieldhouse. God bless you. Nine-point game, ten and a half to go, at least what I got here on uh, Ohio State taking on Loyola. Purdue getting ready to get going. Purdue, if they're just going to stand around and throw the ball inside, Purdue's going to get down early. That's all I'm saying. If they're not going to just stand around, if they're going to cut, move, and get the ball inside as needed, Purdue is going to be fine in this game. I think they'll cover the 16, but I'm not betting it. That's it. That, um, that's all I'm telling you. So, anyway. All right. 317 239 1070. That's the number. Anybody want to call in, complain about Indiana? Who we got at 2 o'clock, Jimmy? We got the cash man coming with some bets, baby. The cash man will be here. We will let him know. We are at the St. Shack. A lot of nervous Ohio State people here all of a sudden. A little bit of angst going on. Be nice to get a stop. Be nice to get some buckets. Be nice to keep our toes tapping. All right, there's some clapping. I know they're ahead of me, so something good just happened for Ohio State. All right, we'll be right back. The cash man next. It's Kevin and Query. Mike Chappell. I don't think that per se is demanding that Ballard change his philosophy, but I do think he's urging him to be more active at the top. There's three or four holes at major positions. Quarterback, left tackle, pass rush, receiver. You just can't get all that done with the draft. I think they'll be more aggressive, but I don't think they're going to go Bill Belichick last year and just empty their salary cap. Kevin and Query. Weekday mornings at 7. On 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. 
All right, it's Daniel J. Dockage here for my friends at Whole Wall Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Don't flush tampons, condoms, Q-tips, paper towels, and all down your toilet. Why? Because your toilet will clog, and if it clogs, do yourself a favor. Call 255-4328. That's Whole Wall Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Trust your flush. Anything that needs plumbed, and doesn't have to just be your toilet, Whole Wall will handle for you. Go see my friend Larry Whole Wall. Two five five four three two eight. When a health system treats patients with the very best in medical care and compassion, it needs a rare kind of staff. That's why Eskenazi Health never stops looking for professionals who understand that technology is most effective when paired with a genuine human touch. If you are a nurse, a social worker, or another professional interested in a career with us, visit EskenaziHealth.edu slash careers. Eskenazi Health, one of Becker's 150 great places to work in healthcare. The second round of BetMGM's March matchups will be underway soon, and here's a chance for every college basketball fan to bet the board. Simply register using bonus code MM160 and place a $20 wager on any game in the second round of the tournament, and you'll receive $160 in free bets that you can use for the rest of the day's tournament action. That's a $20 free bet for each of the eight games, enough to keep you on the edge of your seat all day and all night. Log into your BetMGM account or sign up before round two and place a single $20 wager to receive $160 to bet the board with only at the King of Sportsbooks. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. Must be 21 years of age or older to wager. Indiana only. All promotions are subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Awards issued as knowledgeable free bets or site credit. Free bets expire seven days from issuance. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Indy, finally springtime, and if you hate to paint, do what your neighbor had when it did. She called Rhino Shield. Over the years, I had to touch up the house. I just got to the point where I couldn't spend any more money on the outside of the house. And when I saw Rhino Shield, I thought that was the answer to my problem. Rhino Shield's not paint. It's better. I'd had painters here before, and it was usually quite a disaster with them leaving their equipment here and, and picking up things in the yard. But Rhino Shield was right on it. Indy, now get the guarantee. Guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for 15% off the regular price. The gentleman said, if if you're interested, give me a call. And I said, honestly, can you come tomorrow? <laughs> Here's Rhino Shield's Shane Smith. This offer is limited, so call me at 888-RHINO-41. That's 888-RHINO-41. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go, go Rhino. Rhino. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Terry Stacy here with your American Standard Race Day weather. Brought to you by Absolute Comfort, your American Standard Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. IndyCar travels to the always exciting Texas Motor Speedway for their second race, sunny and 77 at the green flag. NASCAR returns east after their western swing racing in Atlanta this Sunday, sunny and a high of 66. This has been your American Standard Race Day weather brought to you by Absolute Comfort, your American Standard Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. Whoever said the more the merrier sure wasn't in charge of hiring new employees because the more unqualified candidates you have for a job, the more difficult your hiring can be, and that can make the process, well, not so merry for you. Thankfully, there's ZipRecruiter, which you can try right now for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. ZipRecruiter's powerful technology finds the right candidates for your job. But unlike other sites, ZipRecruiter goes deeper. ZipRecruiter matches people with people, and you can personally invite your top choices to apply because the perfect hire is more than a list of qualifications. It's an individual. ZipRecruiter makes hiring the right person easy, and that'll keep you and everyone else very merry. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. So try ZipRecruiter for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. That's right, free. Once again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. WIBC HD2 W298BB. WIBC HD3 W228CX. Indianapolis. The Pacers head to Texas to take on the Houston Rockets. Tonight at 7.30 on 93.5 and 107.5 The Fan. It's the 
Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. Ships of Dan. Uh, welcome back. We're here at the St. Shack. We've got games going. Purdue getting ready to tee it up. Looking forward to seeing what the Boilers can do. I put a video out basically telling you all what you need to do or what Purdue needs not to do. Look, I'm not trying to coach a team. I'm just telling you. Whenever you have a uh, whenever you have a what's the right word huge size advantage, guess what? Um, you've got to resist the urge to stand and just throw the ball inside. You got to. Is the cash man on with us, Jimmy? All right. At the Cashman wins. Cashman, what are we seeing? What are you liking? What do you got? What say you? Hey, Dan, thank you. I've got a, a two or three that I'm interested in here. I, I like uh, I like Notre Dame today. Uh, there too. are some four and a half. Yep, and there's some four and a halfs out there. I bought it up to five. Uh, didn't hear it a lot of talk, you know, about the travel from Dayton to the West Coast from Notre Dame and comparing it to what happened to Indiana last night. But, you know, Indiana played five games in eight days, and Notre Dame had six days off before the win over Rutgers on Wednesday night. So I don't think it's as big of an issue for the Irish here as it was for Indiana. Uh, all the metrics I look at, I come to a conclusion I play, point to Notre Dame covering, covering your Irish, shooting over 50% in their last five. Uh, they're also 433 uh actually 50% from the field and shooting 433 three. Point three from three in that span. You look at Alabama, they allow 76.9 points per game, which is number 319 in the country. And this is an Alabama team that I think peaked in December when they knocked off Miami, Gonzaga, and Houston all in a row. Uh, then they lose at, by 14 at Memphis, and I don't think they've been the same since. Had a couple of really bad road loss, losses in conference at Mizzou, at Georgia. Alabama comes in, loses a three straight, including that 16-point home loss to Texas A&M. Uh, Notre Dame nine and three against the spread of the last twelve versus teams with a winning record. Bama seven and nineteen against the spread of the last twenty six is a favorite. I think the Irish cover here. I got it up to five just for just in case. But I think Alabama. I think Notre Dame covers here in this one versus Alabama. You also like what do you like in the Virginia Tech Texas game? I think Virginia Tech. There's some twos out there, so I grabbed them at plus two. I think they probably could win this game outright. Uh, Tech peaking at the right time right now. They came into the tournament off of wins over Duke, North Carolina, and Notre Dame. Beat Duke and North Carolina both by double digits. North Carolina's playing pretty well. Uh, Hokies, I think, playing their best ball of the season at the right time. Texas, 10-9 and nine in the Big 12. They came in, they're losing three straight, uh, including a loss to TCU. They barely knocked off a, a down West Virginia program this year. Only beaten by one in Morgantown about three weeks ago. Texas was just 4-7 and seven this year also in road games. Six of those losses by seven or more po- points. Also, let's look at the total in this game. It's 124 and a half at last look. So 63 to 62, 64 to 62 was what you needed to get the over. Virginia Tech has scored 71 or more in six of their last seven. Texas has scored 60 or more in nine of their last ten. And they've also allowed 65 or more in nine of their last ten, including 81 in that game at West Virginia I mentioned uh, a few weeks ago. So, uh, some trends against the spread here. Texas 0-6 against the spread their last six games. 0-5 against the spread their last five versus the team with a winning record. And Virginia Tech 6-2-1 and against the spread their last nine versus the team with a winning record. I think Virginia Tech covers here the way they're playing, probably wins the game outright. Uh, you want to get the Cashman's picks the entire Major League Baseball season. You can get them for $39. All you got to do is go to the Cashman wins. One year, all picks for $52. You get everything. Pretty good. And the Cashman, here's why. I, I don't get paid for this. I just think that, you know what, if you're going to be a sports guy, gambling's legal, you might as well get all the information you can, and Alan Cashman will give it to you. He will. All right, Michigan against Tennessee. I feel like I remember a few years ago they played here. Uh, it was pretty good. Josh Richardson was playing. Michigan had a really good team. It was a hell of a game. But uh, anyway, long story short, that game's tomorrow right here in Indy. What say you, big boy? Yep, got some five and a half, some sixes out there, a favor in Tennessee. Michigan has not won back-to-back games since February 10th. Uh, so since mm. then, they've lost each of those games that they've lost in that span. They've lost by at least five points in all of those, but one, they lost by more than five. Michigan has not been consistent. You know, 0-5 against the spread their last five uh, games. Uh, following a win from five and twenty-one against the spread, the last twenty-six against the, uh, following a win, so they're not consistent back to back. 
Michigan shot over 50% versus Colorado State, while Colorado State just shot 35%. Michigan also had 20, 19 for 22 at the free throw line in that game versus Colorado State, while Colorado State was just 5 for 7. Michigan also had 15 turnovers. So they, they, you know, they struggled most of that game and then laid it on late. Tennessee comes in this defense. They force 15.9 turnovers per game, and their defense is number 14 in assist to turnover ratio. They also average nine and a half steals per game, and on the season they're allowing just over 60. And that's on the season, and they're allowing just over 60 points per game in their last five. And you look at the balls on offense right now. Uh, they're shooting over 50% from three in their last five games. Stopped a hot Texas a and team, beating them by 15. So uh, Tennessee has won uh, seven, uh, five straight straight road or neutral site games by seven points or more. I think Michigan could keep it close early, but I think Tennessee is going to win this one going away towards the end here. And I like Tennessee at five and a half right now. Anything else you liking? Yeah, i got an NBA system. Uh, that I've been uh, sending out. I don't play a lot of NBA, but my uh, my people, they want me to uh, give them something for NBA, even if I don't play them. So there's a system that I've been tracking since March 6th that is 9, 2, and 1 against the spread. And tonight, that system likes the Knicks minus 6. Uh, hosting Washington, there is a 5.5 out there. Knicks are 7-0 and against the spread. They're at 7. And it also likes Phoenix minus 5, hosting Chicago. The Bulls 0-6 against the spread. They're last 6 as a road dog. All right, brother. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. All right, Dan. Thank you. All right. That's the great Cashman. At the Cashman Wins on Twitter, thecashmanwins.com. Get there. I'm telling you, if you like betting, you will like him because he doesn't just pick everything. He just doesn't say, all right, I'm going to grab this, grab that. I, you know, No, we're trying, to, we're trying to invest here. We're trying to freaking win here is what we're trying to do. So at the end of the day, uh, let's do that. Purdue up 11-6 to six right now. Ohio State's up. Uh, Big Ten could use a couple of wins. Auburn is crushing Jacksonville State. Texas Tech is crushing Montana State. Uh, but, wait, look, we can all use a little Purdue in our life. I think Purdue uh, needs to. Let's go. Quit jackassing around. You got yourself a break, right? I mean, they did. They got a heck of a break. So quit messing around and go get it done. It's literally that simple. And I got to tell you, Ohio State fans, I know a lot of Ohio State fans, listen, that Kyle Young is a difference maker, man. That dude is a difference maker on that team. That's the reason as soon as I saw that the, um, as soon as I saw that he was playing, I'm like, wait a second here. I got to take a look and I got to bet Ohio State because he is 1,000% a difference maker. He talks on defense. He plays different positions. You can switch him to smaller. You can switch him to bigger. He plays center field defensively with his arms out, and he influences basically everything defensively for others, meaning he talks. He's not quiet. There's nothing worse than a quiet guy. You can't have quiet. And Ohio State's defense has been fierce in this game. I mean, you're talking about 35 points is all 34 points, excuse me, is all that I have seen uh, Loyola get. And frankly, Loyola looks out of sorts. Now, Loyola's tough. Loyola's not, you know, they're not backing down defensively. Lucas Williamson has really struggled. He's the best player. He's one. He's an All-American, actually. But long story short, Ohio State has not given in even a little bit defensively. I, I think this has been a... You know, there's four minutes to go, whatever there is, but I think this has been a hell of a performance by Ohio State. Yale and uh, Purdue, this game has gone to Purdue so far, 11-8. to eight. It is not going to be. Purdue not going to get out on Yale like, you know, 10-zip or 32-10. to 10. I mean, it ain't happening. Uh, Yale's pretty good. Are they great? No, they're, they're, they're an Ivy League team. I mean, what the hell do you want me to tell you? But they are pretty good, and at the end of the day, uh, it would behoove Purdue to continue to cut, move, and then go inside. That's what they need to do. Right now, hey, tell me if I'm wrong. You guys got the game a little ahead of me. Uh, you up 12, or what are you up at Ohio State? 12? It's 12? Yeah, good. That's what we need. We need Ohio State to win. We need Ohio State to win because, frankly, Uh, I'm tired of listening to people whine about the Big Ten. That's it. I'm just tired of it. I've had enough. 
And you know what? At the end of the day, I don't at me about it either because of the 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 Big Ten is just fine. Yes, I know Iowa went and did Iowa things. I get that. That's fine. But you know what? Indiana got their ass beat. That's great. But the truth of the matter is the Big Ten with nine teams is going to play and play really well. That's just all I can tell you. I mean, that's, you know, that's the way this is going to roll. It is. Hey, I, people, keep, people keep hitting me up with this. I, I don't have the answer. What has to happen? Oh, yeah, that's solid right there. What has to happen for, uh, what has to happen for the Colts to get a quarterback? Well, I'm going to tell you what has to happen for the Colts to get a quarterback. Deshaun Watson has to make a decision. And next time the NFL tells you how, you know, they're all into women, they're trying to help, you know, all this stuff, uh, just understand that Deshaun Watson still has 22 pending civil cases where he acted like a complete dumbass physically with women. This wasn't just talking or saying, you know, this is acting physical with women. So, you know. Next time we hear about, oh, I don't know, um, how women are important to the NFL and important to owners in the NFL, let, let's just pay attention here a little bit to what's going on here with Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is able, he's actually able, they're saying, to make his own decision on where he's going, which means that every team wants a guy that went 4-12. and 12. Now, is he good? Of course he's good. It's really good. They ain't the one top five quarterback in the league because I don't know one top five quarterback in the league in his fourth year or whatever it was that went four and twelve in that division, the easiest division in the world. And I'm just telling you. So while everybody's jumping up and down, standing on their head and crap, crapping snowballs about Deshaun Watson, I'm here telling you, hey, look, I don't think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, man. The dude went four and twelve. And 4-12 and is real. Like, that's not not real. That's real. That's what he was. That's what he did. So, you know, uh, Dan, the last special win, IU beating Kentucky with the watch shot is runner-up to IU beating Duke. Yeah, see, you missed my point. There is no, there is no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, this isn't fanboy stuff. I'm not rating them. I'm just telling you what, it is, and what it is, um, frankly, is that Indiana has not done anything special since then. Like, all guys are out, and we go get a big win. I'm not talking about getting down because you're playing bad. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, we got half our team out like we did against Illinois 100 years ago and still won. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I mean, Indiana had a chance last night. Ben Orr says this, uh, uh, Baker Mayfield, Matt Ryan, both mediocre quarterbacks, don't give you a championship feel. I would expect either to do, I'd expect either to do what we do, go eight and nine, nine and eight, keep us in the playoffs purgatory, keep us in professional sports purgatory for another couple years, hard to argue. That said, give me Baker for one reason, he seems like he has some FU in him and we haven't had that at the quarterback position since Manning. The organization needs a blank, blank back in the room to push people, exude confidence, and demand better. I'm sure I'm wrong. I don't think you're wrong. I, it goes back to what I said about uh, Grigson. Grigson's the last bastion of organizational toughness that the Colts have had. I mean, you can get mad at me all you like. That's cool. It doesn't matter. But that's fine. You want to get mad at me? Get mad at me. But organizational toughness is lacking in the Colts. It just is. And Rick Venturi said it a few years ago. It walked out the door when Grigson walked out the door. And you can get mad at me all you'd like, and that's fine. But there you go. 317, and you can see in the media, even the media still got him on a 10-year plan. And I just read it to you. George Bremer, well, you know, whoever comes in as a, uh, as a draft choice is going to be more important. He better not be. He, the, the guy in the draft choice be, better not be more important than who is brought in to quarterback now. I mean, this is not a damn 10-year plan, or at least it shouldn't be. 
Purdue's struggling right now. It's 17 16. A lot of you are asking me, do you live bet Purdue? Hell yeah, you live bet Purdue. I don't even know what the bet would be. Dan, I have a confession. But why to make. wouldn't. What's that? Before the tip. Yeah. I scooped the 16 and a half on the Bulldogs. Did you? Did. It's early. Why are you bragging? It's early. I just want to share it with you. We were talking about it earlier. It's what a- bets we had. <laughs> Why did you do that? What made you? What Azar you Swain made me do it, and I didn't have did? any bets out yet. There's, I didn't have any yeah. early action. I needed something, Dan. I needed something. Yeah, no, I know. No, I get it, Jimmy. I look. It's fun to watch a game, but it's more fun to bet on a game. Amen. <laughs> eighteen seventeen, Purdue is. Or eighteen sixteen, Purdue is up. And look, I mean, it's twelve minutes ago. I think you're going to cover it. I do. I think you're going to come. I mean, look, it, 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 Yale is a hot team. They ran through their tournament. It's not like they were going to come lay down. I know Purdue fans right now are going, oh, we knew it was coming, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. No, no. No. They'll cover this. They'll cover it nice. Toes will be tapping, and away you go. That's just what is going to happen. I got 11-point lead, Ohio State, Jimmy, with uh, two minutes to go as a, a running clock. So play a little defense, get a rebound, uh, get fouled, hit a couple free throws, and there you go. You got a rebound. I tell you what, this Branham kid is good, man. And every time, I'm talking about every single time Ohio State gets in trouble, they look to Kyle Young. Every time. They got a rebound just now. The ball was being tied up. What did they do? They got the ball to Kyle Young. And Kyle Young, they got a timeout. They didn't turn it over. So there you go. Pretty good day yesterday for Louisville, if you think about it. Louisville got to watch their rival, Kentucky, get beat by St. Peter's. They got to watch a team a couple hours north, Indiana, get beat by 1,000 to St. Mary's. Saints were tough, tough yesterday. Saints were nasty people yesterday to uh, local basketball. And then, of course, they hired their guy, Kenny Payne, who, if all of the people that know their way around it, Kenny Payne knows his way around, it's going to be interesting because Kenny Payne and Mike Woodson are both in the conversation with, um, what's that guy's name? Oh, gosh, darn it. Well, World Wide West. And Kenny Payne is World Wide West. Purdue's taking it out a little bit, 25 to 16. Jimmy's going to get paid, I do believe. I do believe I'm going to get paid today. This would be 9-0 and oh, uh, if this hits. By the way, Florida is going to hire Todd Golden from San Francisco as their next head coach. Uh, last night, San Francisco got beat by Murray State. Murray State, uh, well, they gave up a three and it went to overtime, and then Murray State ended up winning the game, which was fan-freaking-tastic. Yeah, that's a weird deal, though. The dude is from California, and he's going to head out to Florida. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Jimmy, I really haven't asked you, what did you think of the IU game last night? I was worried if they got down by double digits that everything from fatigue to lack of consistent shooting – they wouldn't be able to drag themselves back out. And St. Mary's, like you said, Dan, I mean, they're, they're a physical good team. I didn't expect them to get beat like that, but I don't know. I don't know, Dan. I was disappointed. Yeah. I was disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't get routed, right? I mean, you know, you, you got everybody looking like they're excited and everybody wanting to go and everybody doing their thing, and then all of a sudden you get beat. Uh, but I think that Kevin Bowen was absolutely right. I mean, think, look at Kyle Young just blocked a shot. I'm telling you, this dude is a bad boy, and he is the reason why we uh, dunk, why we took the Ohio State University. It has been one year for Ohio State, and one long, long year. Remember they lost last year to Oral Roberts, and they had played, gone into the final game of the NC, excuse me, the Big Ten tournament, and, you know, they got out there, and then they just got their brains beat out. So at the end of the day, I, I, Ohio State's going to avenge that loss. John Calipari's sitting with that loss. Remember, Virginia sat with that loss. You don't want to be sitting with this loss. Indiana, at least people feel like, because expectations were so low, people feel like um, there's momentum right now in the program. 
You know, they got some dude that's a TikTok star, a social media star coming in. They got another dude, uh, Sh- Shafino or whatever his name is. That's supposed to be good. So that's good. But the guys, if you're going to come back, you got to develop more of an Indiana mentality. And you know what? That's why I like Woody being there. I feel like Woody is going to do that. I feel like Woody uh, is already on his way towards doing that. Jimmy, do you want to know the biggest game of the year, of the day? Of course. Biggest game of the day. Uh, Harvard versus Yale softball. Harvard is up two to nothing. By the way, tomorrow, uh, 8 a.m., usually we go 9 to noon on Sirius XM Radio. Tomorrow morning we'll be on Sirius XM Channel 84, and we're going to get it going from 8 to 11. I believe it's because of the NCAA tournament and its coverage started. But it'll be 8 to 11. Uh, you can catch this act. Purdue in the middle of a 10-0 run. They're at a timeout right now. Purdue, <clears throat> excuse me, is up 25 to 16. It's going to be a great afternoon. If you want to follow bets at the J. Cook, uh, if you want to follow my bets, it's at Dan Dockage. There you go. All right. Ten-year plan is real. And do-do. There you go. 317-239-1070 is the number. Dan at 1070thefan.com is the email address. And, of course, we are always on Twitter at Dan Dockage and at the J. Cook. Stop by your locally owned and operated Big O Tires and save up to $100 instantly on Cooper, Nitto, and Pirelli Tires. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Hi, this is Ted Bishop, PGA General Manager at the Legends Golf Club in Franklin. This year, we are celebrating our 30th anniversary of being in business, and I want to personally invite you to become a member at our course, which was selected as the 2021 Indiana Golf Course of the Year. We are offering a limited number of two-year Monday through Friday memberships starting at $199 a year. Yep, you heard it right, only $199 a year, and you can upgrade to a seven-day membership for only $50 per year more. If you ride, you just pay for the golf cart, and if you walk, there's no additional charge. These memberships will expire on December 31 of 2023. Legends has 27 Fazio Design Championship holes. Our regular players will tell you that we are known for great playing conditions and a friendly staff. Join the Legends Golf Club today. Don't delay, because limited spots are available. Call 317-736-8186 or buy online at thelegendsgolfclub.com. And I'll see you on the first tee. Hey, college basketball fans, join the action on the court during the biggest tournament of the year with DraftKings Sportsbook. Turn your team's victory into your own big win. New customers can bet just $5 on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do win. That is simple. If they win, you win. DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also bet on college hoops with same-game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. DraftKings safe, secure, reliable. First of all, you can, best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your money at your convenience. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code 1075FAN. Bet $5 on any college hoops game. Hit a college hoops team to win the game. And if they win, you win with promo code 1075 FAN this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. 21 or older, Indiana only, new customers only. Minimum $5 deposit. Restrictions do apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem, 800 9 with it. Hey guys, it's the new year. Are you still struggling with erectile dysfunction? I've yet to meet anyone that enjoys timing those intimate moments around a pill. Well, now you don't have to. The advanced wave technology at Pine Grove Medical Clinic has been shown by Cambridge University and the Cleveland Clinic to restore and even regrow blood vessels. It can improve circulation and eliminate erectile dysfunction. No pills and no side effects. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED, call us in the next two minutes and you'll receive a consultation, assessment, and blood flow ultrasound free, plus a special gift that produces immediate results in the bedroom. You're going to love that. Trust me. This is a $600 value, free to callers now. 317-552-1111. That's 317-552-1111. Guys, get rid of your ED and get that spark back. Call Pine Grove Medical Clinic now to qualify. 317-552-1111. Whoever said the more the merrier sure wasn't in charge of hiring new employees because the more unqualified candidates you have for a job, 
the more difficult your hiring can be, and that can make the process, well, not so merry for you. Thankfully, there's ZipRecruiter, which you can try right now for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. ZipRecruiter's powerful technology finds the right candidates for your job. But unlike other sites, ZipRecruiter goes deeper. ZipRecruiter matches people with people, and you can personally invite your top choices to apply because the perfect hire is more than a list of qualifications. It's an individual. ZipRecruiter makes hiring the right person easy, and that'll keep you and everyone else very merry. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. So try ZipRecruiter for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. That's right, free. Once again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. Asthma symptoms can attack anywhere, like on a city street. <coughs> now you can get fast relief anywhere with new improved Primatine Mist, the only FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over the counter. So whether you need relief of symptoms at the park... <laughs> or at your kitchen table. Primatine Mist starts working quickly, opening up your airways to restore free breathing. <sighs> For temporary relief of mild symptoms of intermittent asthma, use Primatine Mist and breathe easy again. Available at CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens. Use as directed. Hi, my name is Takia, and a little thing that I love about the Smokehouse Barbecue Bacon Sandwich is when I take a bite, it's the perfect blend from the bacon to the cheese. It's perfection. Hey, I'm Katora, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A mac and cheese is it kind of melts in your mouth, so you know it's creamy, cheesy, and delicious. This gooey mac makes me cheese every time. <laughs> Order dinner delivered on the Chick-fil-A app today. Delivery fee and other restrictions apply. Real guests paid for their testimonials. Hey, Andy. Tim Pearson here, founder of Chattanooga Whiskey, the only Tennessee high malt. Try Chattanooga Whiskey 111, the unfiltered 111 proof bourbon with notes of chocolate covered cherries and rich caramel. We hope you love it as much as we do. Drink Chattanooga Whiskey, enjoy responsibly. Hey, Indy, one big winners in college hoops and the NBA? Catch me, Joe Wiz, host of The Fine Line, Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. right here on The Fan. Gear up for the college basketball tournament with Dan Dockich and Coors Light. Head over to 1075thefan.com to see where Dan and Coors Light are heading to next. The Ride with JMV. From the Athletic, he covers the Raiders. Vic Tafer, how would you describe Yannick Ngakwe? Gus Bradley, just he loves him. And uh, Gus brought him in last year to kind of lead, you know, veteran influence in some of these guys. Ngakwe's matured a lot the last three or four years. Uh, Gus knows that his strengths lie in getting pressure on the quarterback and helping the defense get things done. The Ride with JMV. Weekdays, 3 to 6. On 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. The Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. Yes, sir. All we do is make you money. All we do. Gonna have to add, uh, you know how I go, the best days in your life as a coach are birth of your kid, wedding day, and a road win, and the order depends on how big a win it is. Well, I gotta tell you, NCAA win might have to join that as well. I, I think, you know, I'm just telling you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Ohio State with a win. Purdue went on a 10 0 run to kind of open it up. And uh, man, it's been some grinding today. It's been some grinding. It really has. And you know what? Ohio State did a hell of a job. Ohio State hung in there, and away they go, man. They, they move on to the second round. And that's a good win. It's a really good win because, man, Loyola is tough to play against. My goodness, are they tough to play against. And we told you right from the get-go, take the under. If you took the over, you were screwed. The under in pretty good shape. Man, it, the fun, one of the funniest things out there is this. Do you know who Leah Thomas is? This is the guy, the girl, I don't know. I mean, I, the women of... Yale or wherever she goes to, he goes to school. Say that they, the guy walks around with a, with a package. He's got a package and he swims as a woman. World is crazy, and every media person is uh, ooh, every media person is scared to say anything about her, him, her. 
I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's a dude with a package walking around a damn uh, uh, locker room of women and going out and racing, and nobody wants to say it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Let's be honest. Time Magazine or, or USA Today's Women of the Year has a penis. I mean, what are we doing? What, what are we doing in this world? Like, ah, okay, I, look, I know nobody wants to address any of this. I understand it because you get called all kind of names because, you know, the, the communities come at you, and that's fine. But, I mean, there is an absurdity about it, and if you don't understand it, then God bless you. There just, <laughs> there just is. The woman of the year has a penis. Now, if somebody walk me through this, 317-239-1070. Please walk me through this. Uh, our guy Fauci says any degree of COVID-19 restrictions may return if there's another surge. Stop. Purdue is up 28-20. Ivy at the line. If Ivy gets serious, I mean, it's touching that her mother, blah, 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 blah. That's great. But let's be honest. I'm tired of the whole mother. How about you just play and you play defense and away you go. All right? Play like an All-American. That would be good. Yale shooting air balls. Uh, Purdue's going to win by 162 right now. Texas Tech is up 25. Auburn is up 16. Uh, we got a lot going on. But anyway, Purdue's going to win by Jimmy, I feel good about your bet. I'm not going to lie. I feel good. Very good. I do. I feel good. You made it right before game time? I, I feel like you're mocking me now, which is fine because no, I took, I took no, the Bulldogs. I feel really good about the, I took the Bulldogs. I, feel, oh, I took, took the, the Bulldogs. bulldogs. I, I did not take about, Purdue. I don't feel good about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't feel good about you, bet. That's all right. I don't know. I don't like big spreads. I just, I don't know. I Like, I, I really feel like you could win that bet. You could lose that bet. I don't know. Uh, it. <laughs> I just don't like big spreads in these. That's why we won so many games the last two days because, really, I've been playing small spreads. You know, like I said, if Providence was going to win, they were going to win by more than two. I felt the same thing about North Carolina, and I did not think North Carolina was going to go win by 168 like they did, and Marquette was going to pull in Indiana. But, you know, at the end of the day, let's be honest, these big spreads are tough. That's why I'm I'm just going to tell you, um, I think – taking uh, Michigan State as my big bet is the way to go. And we may lose it. But I don't need a big spread. I don't want a big spread. I want point two points. And again, I think, Jimmy, if I were you, I would have taken the same thing, man. I would have. I think I would have taken the same thing. I think I would have taken the bigger spread because these games don't seem to get extended, but I don't know. I just don't like them. I don't like, I don't like overs either. Except last night when I doubled down in the Kentucky game because everybody, for the first time in college basketball history, it looked like everybody wanted to run the court, get down the court, and go do a bunch of stuff. So there you go. I got Dixie the Praying Dog is here. And uh, a lot of shows Dixie is in. So there you go. Get, be on the lookout for Dixie the Praying Dog. And uh, my friend Brian Calvert had a uh, great experience hanging out with Lindsey Vaughn and uh, showed me a very nice picture of Lindsey Vaughn. There you go. Uh, 317-239-1070. That is the number, ladies and gentlemen. Um, look, Dan, why does this rely on Deshaun Watson? Why can't the Colts go out and get a quarterback? Jimmy, can you explain this to people again? No draft capital to trade, right? I mean, yeah, there, God. there's not a ton of capital. If Matt Ryan is the guy that you want to go after, the Falcons are not making a move with him until the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes right. or whatever you want to call it is finished. But I think once that happens, things are going to move quickly. I do too. And Deshaun Watson doesn't necessarily have to go where it's purported. And that would be Atlanta uh, or possibly Cleveland. I mean, that could be the Saints. That could be Carolina. Who knows? I mean, we've always said, or I've always said, a lot of these things get handled behind closed doors. And what you're seeing publicly uh, it are just things put out by a agent. So it doesn't, you know, it's, if he goes to, well, all right, let's go through it, Jimmy. If he goes to, uh, let's see, if he goes to Carolina, there's no movement there for anybody, right? Because Bridgewater's gone. Is, was Bridgewater I mean, unless you're interested Darnold? in Sam Darnold. Darnold yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, in, are you interested in Sam Darnold? Not really, no. 
If, we, if you're going to be if interested he was free, in Sam if he Darnold, was free, yes, thousand percent. Otherwise, no, no, thank you. If, if he was what? He was free. Like if he was like like minimal draft, like a sixth round pick. Oh then yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I I, I agree, but. I don't know. You know, it, it Colts obviously put out that they took a swing on Deshaun Watson. That's fine. But we all knew that. That wasn't going to happen. You didn't have a first round pick. You didn't have anything. I don't know, man. I, I, I just think a lot of what the Colts season depends on, ironically enough, is on guess who? Deshaun Watson. <laughs> I do. And that's pretty amazing. It is. It's, it's pretty amazing. One of the things that I have always talked about when doing, you know, shows like this is I've always talked about with you all about who's getting better shots. And right now, this sounds odd and it's probably not going to continue, but in my opinion right now, I think Yale's getting way too many good looks. And I think they are. I said the same thing about Iowa when they played Purdue the other day. Like, man, you got to stop giving the good looks. And right now, the Yale's not making many. Yale's two for eight from three. They've taken 23 shots. Eight of them have been threes. Purdue is four for 11, so they're shooting at 36%. That's basically the difference in the game. I mean, it basically is, but the truth of the matter is, Purdue being up nine right now, um, it's all good, but, man... Better not, better not let Yale keep getting these looks. Let's just put it that way. They continue to get these looks. That is going to be a situation. Purdue is up 11 right now as the man. What is it? The mountain masquerading as a man just had a tip in? I mean, my God. But anyway, that's what I'm saying. That, that, Jimmy, I think, um, I think Purdue's going to be fine. Oh, no, I think you're going to actually be all right. Except for that shot they just took. Yeah, it was not a good shot at all. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm a little late to the party. You are, but that's okay. (laughs) It's still bad. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You don't need to take bad shots. Sometimes against good defenses, maybe you got to take some bad shots because you can't get anything else. But I feel like you move that damn ball, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. I think Purdue's gonna overpower him. I think that it's. I'm not happy about my bet. It's early. It is thirty two to two, Jimmy. That is what South Carolina women are doing to Howard. Wow. 30. Hey, we're all excited to play in the tournament. Let's go, James. Uh, you're down 32 to 2. We're what? We, 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 we're doing what now? Say what? Yeah, 32 to 2. No. Uh, thanks to everybody on the YouTube chat. I haven't been there today. We've been, you know, grinding it out over here, but uh, the YouTube chat, as always, is popping. Love the YouTube chat. Um... Would you, are you, what's the right word to put this? Are you in like, Jimmy, with, are you in as much like with Michigan State as I am? Yes. Because I'm in like with Michigan State tonight. Anytime you can get Tom Izzo in March on basically even money, I'm going for it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yipper. I'm going to take it. It's going to be a late night bet, which means I'm going to stay up late night, which means my show tomorrow on Sirius will be boring because I'll be half asleep. But I am going to do this. I'm going to take more of Izzo. I might. What do you think of Wisconsin and Colgate? What's that spread at? Seven and a half. Mm. Seven and a half in Milwaukee. Laid, lay the seven. Lay seven and a half. Yeah. Yep. I agree. I agree. Don't play with Colgate, though, if you're Wisconsin. Don't play around there. Take care of business. No. You're done. No. I know. Uh, I know that. I like Miami, Jimmy. I like Miami. Uh, I do. I like Miami. That's our main I'm chasm, again. I think. That's our main bet we disagree on tonight. Is is it USC? Yeah, and, and I'm not. I, you know, I think I'm wrong because, and I'll tell you why I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong because I'm basing it really on watching two games, and you know, I have not watched them enough. So you know, uh, <laughs> that that is that's an up in the air game for me. But I'm going to bet it 
And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to take Miami just because. That's all. Just because. It's a just because bet. Just because it's on my TV and just because, frankly, I saw them play twice. I thought they were really good. And I don't want to go against a team that I think is really good. That's about how I would look at it. Right, wrong, happy or sad. That's how I would look at it. All right, when we come back, uh, Jimmy's got some bets for you. We will update you on the Boilermakers and get you ready for a hell of a weekend here in downtown Indy. We are sitting right here in a throne at the St. Shack. The Ohio State crew is here, but they're also on their bets. They're on their phones looking for more bets right now. Knezovich is drawing a beer up to his face. Uh, because that's what he does. He drinks beer all day. He doesn't move. He sits at bars and just drinks beer. Dixie the Praying Dog is over here. We got T-shirts. We got all kinds. Of Coors Light is here. It is a great, great spot. It is called the Saint Shack here in downtown Indy. This will be a night the whole family will remember. A 40-point night for Miles Turner. Join us for your new family tradition. Lucas Oil Family Night at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Smith can shoot the three and hits the three. Each ticket purchased through this promotion includes a Pacers hat, hot dog, bag of chips, and a small Pepsi product. Now that's family value. Indiana Pacers meet the Portland Trailblazers on the next Lucas Oil Family Night Sunday at 3.30. Get your tickets at Pacers.com slash family. Your neighbor Mark loves spring in Indy, but he hates to paint. So he called Rhino Shield. It's a two-story home built in 1992. Around 2001, looking at needing the paint, I heard a radio ad, you know, with a Rhino Shield, you won't have to paint again for another 25 years. That's because Rhino Shield's not paint. It's better. They're very professional. We had everything done. Everything that would typically be painted on a house was done, and it was very fast. All right, Indy, get the 25-year guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield right now for 15% off the regular price. Uh, it was done in 2001 and I'm um, still going strong. From what I've seen on our home, they can easily offer a 25-year guarantee and not worry about it. Here's owner Shane Smith. This offer is limited, so call me at 888-RHINO-41. That's 888-RHINO-41. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go, go Rhino. Rhino. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Are you an HVAC technician, plumber, or sewer and drain specialist? Has your company been swallowed up by a national company? Concerned about becoming a small cog in a large wheel? Searching for a place where you can make a difference and feel appreciated? Then call Vasey Commercial Facility Solutions. They're hiring experienced industrial commercial technicians. Get full benefits and true work-life balance. Call Vasey now at 317-873-2512. 317-873-2512. Or go to Vasey.com to learn more. It's time for the madness of hoops. Real sports bettors use the free PropSwap app to find the best deals on all your favorite teams. Prop swappers make thousands of dollars simply buying and selling college basketball teams. And here's the best part. You can buy and sell on PropSwap without even leaving your couch. Right now is the time to choose those Cinderella's while the odds are high. Jump on the PropSwap app, buy a handful of tickets, and enjoy buckets of cash and the moments of madness. Cinderella stories happen every year. So download the free PropSwap app today and make sure you're holding great tickets to the big dance. See a ticket you like but think the price is too high? Submit a bid for a price you think is fair and then buy it. You'll find exclusive fantastic features on PropSwap like filtering listed bets based on the best value, a free activity fee to stay in the know with red hot tickets for sale, and a loyalty rewards program that turns your tickets into extra bonus cash. PropSwap is America's number one app to buy and sell sports bets. Jake Query here. You know, recently I returned to college to finish my degree, and I encourage you to join me. Whether you're like me and life simply got in the way, or you never went to college at all, Indiana offers financial assistance for those ready to move forward. If I can do it, I know you can too. If you're looking for a better job or doing it for your family, Indiana has grants to pay for over 150 certificates in high-wage industries. You're sure to find a tuition-free option that fits you. To apply, visit nextleveljobs.org today. Sponsored by the Indiana Commission for Higher Education. That's nextlevelsjobs.org. Dan Doggett here. BSN Sports is in the business of providing your favorite teams. Uniform, sporting, good spirit wear. That said, they're also fans. My buddy Bob Kaiser's son, Heath, 
quarterback at North Central and a lot of other moms and dads working there. Excitement around high school sports near an all-time high state tournament is going to be and has been absolutely rocking. BSN Sports is continuing to support student-athletes, coaches, schools by recognizing great teams in the area with the BSN Sports 107.5 The Fan. High school team of the week. Three teams chosen per week. Twitter votes pick the winner. I'll recognize the winners on Friday. Show BSN Sports at the heart of the game. Terry Stacy here with your American Standard Race Day weather. Brought to you by Family Heating and Air. Nobody cares for you like family. IndyCar travels to the always exciting Texas Motor Speedway Sunday for their second race. Sunny and 77 at the Green Flag. NASCAR returns east after their Western Swing Racing in Atlanta this Sunday. Sunny and a high of 66. This has been your American Standard Race Day weather. Brought to you by Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Your trusted, independent American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning dealer. When a health system treats patients with the very best in medical care and compassion, it needs a rare kind of staff. That's why Eskenazi Health never stops looking for professionals who understand that technology is most effective when paired with a genuine human touch. If you are a nurse, a social worker, or another professional interested in a career with us, visit EskenaziHealth.edu slash careers. Eskenazi Health, one of Becker's 150 great places to work in healthcare. Want the same internet but more privacy? DuckDuckGo's got you covered. With one download, you can search and browse privately, avoiding trackers all for free. DuckDuckGo, privacy simplified. Monday on Kevin and Query, do the Colts have a new quarterback? And is Purdue in the Sweet 16? We'll break it all down for you. Join us 7 a.m. right here on The Fan. This is how we do it. It's the Dan Dockett Show, 93.5 and 107.5. The Fan. Jimmy, what do you got? The Jay Cook Plays of the Day. This is me, all right? I'm not a athlete. This is my play. This is how I win. Today's Plays of the Day, all NCAA tournament. What do you think we're betting on? We're taking the USC Trojans to win the money line against the Miami Hurricanes. Come on. It's March Madness. Somebody betting ass, but of course, Jeez. DraftKings Sportsbook is the one you need to be on. Taking the USC Trojans, one of the money line against the Miami Hurricanes. Also going to take Virginia Tech, one of the money line against Texas. Notre Dame and Alabama, I'm going to scoop the four for the Fighting Irish against the Crimson Tide. Also going to scoop the eight on the Chattanooga Mocs as they battle the Fighting Illini. Closing things out, can't bet against Tom Izzo in March. Taking Michigan State on the money line against Davidson. Two and two yesterday, seven and six on the week. 115 94 and 4 on the year. Plays on Twitter all tournament long at the J. Cook. All right, here's a question. You ready? Sure. DraftKings gave me a free $100 bet. Man. All right. Where do you do spend you it? Do you bet that on a game you like, or do you go, you know what, like tonight? I almost put this in, but I wanted to ask. I, I would take a parlay, and you can use it for parlays. I would take a parlay of Izzo. I would take them, and I'll give the one. I would take a parlay, and I got I, I don't know. Like I, I think I'd take uh, Miami plus two, Chattanooga plus eight. Or do you just take a bet and win a hundred dollars? You know, a game that you like. I mean, do you? If I got a free hundred dollar bet, um, I think I got to. Uh, I don't know. I think I got to take a little parlay. But do I? I don't have to do it today. I should do it when yeah. I like a couple. That's right? what I was gonna say because based on everything you've said today, you don't like where most of the spreads are, particularly in this early window. If you really want to parlay it, I would pocket it and I'd wait until the round of thirty-two. Yeah. No, I agree. Like I don't know Seton Hall, right? Seton Hall and TCU. I don't like. So you got to. You know, they gave me hundred dollar free bet. All right. I do, I do like Chattanooga, but I don't love it. I do like Notre Dame. I bet it. So I looked at what I was betting, and what I bet was this. I bet Michigan State minus one and Notre Dame plus four. Those are the two bets that I have out there. So you just put those two in a parlay, and maybe you got it. I don't know. Great time right here. St. Shaq, I've been sitting on my ass basically the whole time because we got a lot of reads on Fridays, but a lot of people are hanging out. I had the veggie dog. I got to tell you, uh, I'll be back because the veggie dog was so freaking good. Uh, And, you know, it's a gourmet hot dog place. And I'm just telling you, it is, to me, 
about as good as you're going to find. A cool atmosphere in here. Cool place. Coors Light here giving out some shirts and some hats and some beers. And Purdue is up 13 at halftime. So all you Boiler fans, you can at least right now gloat to your Indiana fan- friends because Indiana took a big fat dump right on the bed last night. And uh, away you go. So, all right. Notre Dame, I'm going to take Notre Dame. I'm going to give the four. Or I'm going to take the four. I think taking the four is good business right there. But I just don't love anything enough to say, all right. um, And I don't know if I will tomorrow either because, look, the games get harder. The games do not get easier. Man, I don't know if you saw this, but another big old fire here in Indianapolis. I just 38, 40 minutes ago, the Brownsburg Fire Territory Twitter handle says, we're on the downside of this scene. Construction materials burning beneath the building under construction. No exterior or interior walls. Flaming and partial roof were completed. But, I mean, it looks like a freaking crazy thing. Jay Nivey with 18. Did you take Edie, Jimmy? Did you did you take Edie in points? I did not. Oh. All right. Should have. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. He's got he's got a big hat. Did you he take Edie in points? 50. No, I, I looked at it though, and I thought, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know. And I said this before the game, and I put this out on a video. Uh, Purdue did what I think Purdue should do: get their offense running, get it moving, and keep throwing the ball inside in due time. But it doesn't have to be what Michigan did yesterday. And what Michigan did yesterday wasn't great. What Michigan did was they just force fed it. They force fed it into the post and in force feeding it into the post, they stopped running their offense. The other team was running their offense and the other team was up like 15. I think it was Colorado State. And then guess what? Michigan said, no, we're not doing that. We're going to move the ball around. And they end up winning the game. They outscored them by about 25 at one point, maybe more. And I'm glad to see Purdue do that. That was what we put out uh, before the game. Keep running your offense. And with IDV having the ball and having influence, pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, Dan, uh, IU, it's not only the TikTok guys. If the six party boys hadn't messed up the Northwestern game, Indiana would not have had to be in the playoff game and would have avoided the Dayton to Portland Move that pretty much true, Mike Vave. Yeah, you're probably right. Indiana, that's what I'm saying. Indiana got to get that straightened out. Indiana's got to get that whole mentality straightened out. We're all of a sudden biggest game of the year. We have got to suspend guys, and then all of a sudden now, you know, uh, all of a sudden we got TikTok videos. We got, you know, it's stupid. That's the mentality I'm talking about. That's the mentality you got to get figured out. And if you don't get it figured out, the next year won't be any better. They'll let you down. But that's a great call, Mike. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah, you got to get shooters. Yeah, you got to get different things. It's all good. But the truth of the matter is you better get that mentality. And I think Woody's a guy to get the mentality figured out. I do. I think he has that mentality, and I think the coaches have that. Some of them. Not the one guy, cheerleader guy. What's his name? Richmond or something? The cheerleader guy is the cheerleader guy. He's not used to this kind of thing. But uh, other than that, man, all right, disappointing for Indiana. Purdue, second half. Check out me tomorrow, 8 to 11. It will be on the... What's that, Jimmy? We're done. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Cam. Are you feeling the pinch of higher prices? Costs may be rising, but with Golden Oak Lending's 2.25% fixed rate, you can lower your mortgage.